following story may feel familiar. It will likely not end happily. The people described will likely suffer in their desperation, but they will all be important before the end. Welcome back to the dark future. This is David Johannesson for N54 News. Tonight, we continue to bring you updates around the story of the fight against crime in the old combat zone and the continued search for cyber psycho Alexandra Thread. As of a week ago, NCPD has earned new ground in the zone thanks to assistance from corporate partners at Kang Tao and Rockland Augmentics. NCPD Police Chief Harold Lejeune has released a statement saying, quote, these partnerships are what will ensure our ability to continue serving and protecting the people of Night City from violence and crime in these tumultuous times. As we receive further updates around this story, we will bring them to you. Stay tuned. Really great job, team. Electo has informed me that you all have gotten what she needs to make the plan happen. Looking forward to buying you all the drinks when this is all behind us. Leave it to me. I'm getting the last few things tightened down before we make our move. See y'all soon. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Neon Inferno. It is Monday. We are back on a weekly schedule. Thank God. We uh, have some changes, of course, that said, uh, to our cast. Uh, uh, it is with with some sadness, uh, but also uh, a little bit of, of bittersweet joy that uh, we say farewell to Maya. Uh, she will no longer be on Neon Inferno. Um, this will be our first week without her. Um, but I know she wanted to leave on a, a good note, uh, with her new job being a thing, uh, and her personal schedule kind of no longer aligning with things, uh, here on the show. Um, she has made the decision to, to leave. Um, and, uh, I will say that this is one of those things that as, as much as I, really really wanted to keep her around for the at least this season um i also completely understand you know it's not easy balancing staying up till uh 2 or 4 a.m in your local time zone uh when the rest of us are more west coast oriented um that that is certainly a little more of a struggle so uh tamaya we we thank you for all the time you gave us for the uh wonderful uh plays Hopefully we will see you back on the show at some time as a guest uh, or, or in some other capacity uh, if we try another game at a different time slot. But um, for now, I just wanted to make sure everyone is aware up front uh, that she will no longer be joining us. And this was entirely uh, her decision. I would uh, not have wanted to have her leave if it had been my choice. So um, in her place, however, we have a new member who is joining us starting this week. And that would be Nyla, who will be playing Peacock the Netrunner. And you all get to see how his character comes in. So 
Uh, joining me tonight, as always, we have Ghost, Cody. Uh, Connor is sadly off this week because of some prior obligations with his homework. Uh, and then we have Nyla here with us. So hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining me this week. Howdy. Hello. 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 Howdy, howdy. All right. So let's go ahead and shoot over to the game screen here really quick. Um, and we can kind of get things uh, underway. So bear with me just a moment. All right. And there we are. There is everybody. Um, so uh, as we kind of start off the week here. Um, so uh, for those of you uh, who, well, none of you would would uh, probably know Nyla. I don't think he's ever been on, on one of my streams. He's been on one or two of diamonds when we've been playing final fantasy together um but nyla has played a few sessions with me over on start playing um and i will be getting some more sessions over there very soon uh for those of you who want to uh pay for a session i i do have some plans to get those started i know i keep saying it's soon it's soon um there's like one wrinkle in my personal life i need to kind of figure out that kind of conflicts with it uh once that wrinkle is solved i'll be able to kind of join up and, and do everything there and, and get that moving. So um, we'll probably be starting to, to give you a little uh, taste of what we'll be going through. Um, it will be different from my After the Inferno series that I've kind of been doing as one shots. We'll be starting uh, Tales of the Red Street Stories uh, over there and kind of running two sessions of that um, if I have my way. So, um, but yes. So everyone, as we kind of start the week here, um, so ghost and cody your characters i believe cody you took a little bit of damage but not that much um so you need like two days oh i took a pretty good amount of damage but they were graceful with the or great i was very grateful to get a speed heal at the end of the session oh that is true yeah 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 you you bounced a little bit that's true um so with that kind of said um obviously your luck is back um and you guys uh can kind of choose so the the um sand vipers have spent the, they're spending the night and at least part of the next day regardless of what you do uh kind of uh inventorying and then separating the uh things you guys stole off the militech convoy uh into separate vehicles essentially smaller transports that they're going to kind of stagger into the city so as to not alert uh the proper authorities right um so you guys kind of have choice here um you guys can ride in with one of them to get back into the old combat zone and your usual accommodations um because they the the night after the uh the uh heist if you will you were allowed to stay in the camp and they you know put aside some accommodations for you all so you had a place to sleep and rest and, and let your wounds kind of mend a little bit uh in the wake of being stabilized by their uh doctor so um as we kind of get started ghost i know this is going to apply a little less to you um but what would you guys like to do uh as we kind of start things here are you looking to head back into the city or are you looking to kind of camp out by the all the caldos here I'd probably spend the amount of time necessary to be back to full health before I headed out. So I know they have quite a few shipments to take into the city. So I'd probably yeah. just uh, hop on one once I was feeling a little bit more on the up and up. Yeah. And yeah, they're they're kind of shipping it in bit by bit throughout the uh, the week. Um, even one of these shipments is more than enough to keep Electo and, and as a result, Carpet busy um, on the other end when they start working on the FBCs. So um, that element of things won't be a problem for for you guys um to to wait a few days and then head back in if that's your uh decision um so ghost, probably... yeah so you're gonna stay cody and then ghost what what would yeah. you like to do in regards to that um i'd probably hitch ride out the next morning because i'd want to drop off my armor jack get it touched back up because it just got scratched mm -hmm. and get to my lab so i can prepare stuff for the upcoming big gig beautiful fury Not storage thank you for the move. follow I, I appreciate that um yeah okay so yeah so you're gonna hitch a ride right away and then cody you're gonna give it a few days um 
And Nyla, we, we will get your character in here kind of when things start. We're just going to cruise through downtime here real quick and then uh, you'll, you'll be in, in with everyone shortly thereafter, just to give you an idea. Um, Don't worry, I'm just note taking. Yeah, no, you're totally good, dude. Um, so um, with that said, um, so you arrive back in the old combat zone and yeah, you, you drop your armor jack off at uh, the local text. Um, so with that said, uh, and then Cody, once you're better, like after those two days or so that you need to rest so that you're back to full health, um, is your plan just to go straight back to the, the combat zone as well? Yeah, I, while I was resting up, I probably would have seen if somebody could uh, fix my uh, my armor jack as well, just because oh, yeah. it might as well give them the work and give them the eddies and pay somebody back in town. Yeah, no, and yeah, the Vipers have plenty of, of techs that they could uh, have kind of help with that pro uh, process of, of uh, repairing stuff. So that that is no problem. Um, so, uh, for you, let's see, how banged up was your, your armor real quick? It was seven. Seven? Okay. Yeah, so for you, it'd probably be like a, probably like a 50 Yeti repair, since that's about a little, little, uh, little less than half, but yeah, it's, it's, it's banged up enough. Yeah. Is there a limit to how much, um, SP, uh, maintenance covers? Um. Because I think we're all on generic prepack at this point. I can't yeah. I, I know at least I am. I also got the trauma team. So one thing that that maintenance doesn't cover is the SP of your armor. It just uh, pays for its functionality, essentially. So after some time of not maintaining it, it can cause the armor to um, become less functional, even if by the way that it's been, you know, like the armor plates have been installed and things, even if if it technically is assembled correctly, um, straps loosening, uh, you know, fasteners not holding like they should. Oh, that's it's what more about fighting about. natural wear and tear, not about uh, not basically about an auto re regen in between right. downtime. Right, and and the article of, of breaking your stuff kind of covers that it doesn't account for the health of items, just their uh, when they're worn do they function as intended uh to the okay, degree cool. that they're effective yeah yeah oh you missed the intro okay well maya welcome thank thank you for joining us in uh chat um i know everyone is uh has been expressed that they they are missing you so uh thank you for joining us though um so um with that said um, so yeah, you you can get your armor repaired. Yours is a little less because yours is only down a single SP. So for you, it'll just be a uh, twenty eddies to to patch that. It's not much at all. Cuckoo. Yep. Um, I should also mention that um, rent will be coming due at the end of tonight's session. Um, so as we start making choices leading into the session, be aware, Nyla, this obviously does not impact you. Um, this is where we get that first, the first month allowance, uh, you're covered, uh, until the next time we call for rent. So, um, don't, don't worry about that, uh, for the moment, uh, said rent and I panicked. Yeah, no, 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 you're chilling, you're chilling. Um, so, um, with that said, uh, so Cody, uh, you paid for your armor to be repaired. You catch a ride back in. Um, you catch a ride back into the combat zone. So, um, Blue, would you would have seen this when you arrived, and it's really not that different when you get there, Cody. Um, as you arrive in the combat zone, you're noticing that there's a fair chunk of it, more to like the north and the west that has been torched um for some reason the buildings and it's kind of clear maybe why this would be um but it seems busier than usual in the ionic semiconductor building being that that's more on the east side of the zone um you're noticing that you know it's a little more crowded um there's plenty of people that have kind of pitched tents 
or uh, various kind of like um, improvised sleeping uh, solutions. Um, they got that kind of set up along the concrete, uh, along the, um, you know, the various pathways that have kind of been uh, carved out in the zone around your building. Um, and this uh, is not normal, right? Like a few people like that, sure. But uh, to the degree that you're seeing it here, it's like there's been suddenly like a mass push of people to the east side of the old combat zone. Uh, and as you kind of look uh, west or maybe spend some time during the week going about your errands and things, you notice the west and north side of the zone um, has been like torched. Um, and on like the very fringes of it, um, you know, you could see every so often, you know, once or twice a day, um, you hear and see the plume of some building being collapsed by what you can only assume are um, demolitions, explosives, um, as, as that zone, part of the zone is starting to be raised to the ground by- you gotta, Yeah. You gotta love uh, cyber gentrification, right? Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's it's been pretty clear that this is uh, kind of what's happened over the last couple of years anyway. Uh, this is how the Glen has kind of pushed its borders out into both this zone, South Night City, uh, and to a somewhat lesser extent, the Hot Zone and uh, Old Japan Town. Um, but this push like South and East has been uh, something that's been kind of ongoing. The Inferno paused it briefly as like the city kind of reconfigured itself. And now um, the hot zone, or not the hot zone, the old combat zone uh, appears to be uh, the next kind of place that this is going to be continuing. Uh, so with that said, uh, you start getting the sense that maybe these people have been forced out of their homes uh, as tenuous and uh, ill-constructed as they are, they have been kind of pushed your direction. Um, so with that said, um, you guys are going to have uh, a few days. We're going to say three days worth of, uh, or let me, let me check what's Connor's recovery time. Look, oh, Jesus Christ. He's seven out of 40. Fuck. I, I also did have my shotgun prepped for the, the week for the upgrade. <laughs> Ah, yes. So you do have, you will be working on that. And yeah, so that, that's going to be your downtime then. Um, continuing to work on that. Um, so let me think. This is, I don't think Connor gave himself the speed heal. It's body plus well. So I'll give him that. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, he needs like five days. So yeah, so we'll, we'll give you, we'll give you the full week. We'll give you the full week so that your shotgun is uh, finished being upgraded. Um, Ooh, thank you. We take action here tonight. Yeah, that, that's fair. Um, and Cody for you. So you each have a week of downtime. Uh, Ghost, obviously yours is spent finishing your upgrades. Uh, Cody, what would you like to use a week of downtime on? Other than your obviously your first two days are spent recovering at the Alder Calder camp, but I mean I think I'm gonna make use of that bike and go check up on the um, the uh, kids, make sure that they're not getting close to the uh, the fires because I know that they were um, I had warned them about it last time, but it's yeah. obviously gotten we've left. So you might recall um, as you were seeing kind of the updates from Paradox, um, or not from Paradox, but. There was a, a uh, message you all received at the end of the last week from uh, a, a sender that only identified themselves as H. Um, and it was a, a image that in the very foreground of it, you could see the spray painted logo of Generation Red's building. Um, thankfully, the building itself was untouched by the fire, but the entirety of the background of that image was of a city on fire right the whole thing was ablaze so as you head uh in the direction of generation red which is kind of uh northwest of the um ionic semiconductor building um what you're greeted with is 
uh, if you weren't sure before, it serves as a proof positive of your uh, hunch that the increase in traffic in your section of the zone is probably by and large due uh, to these people being displaced because behind their building, um, off in the distance, um, you can see plumes of dust that have kind of risen up as one of those other buildings comes down, um, whether from a, an explosive placed or a um, or a another kind of uh, situation causing the collapse, you're not sure. But behind their hideout, almost every other building in that direction is black, um, either from soot or just from the fact that it, it's been burned to a crisp and is barely standing. Um, and whereas before you maybe still heard the mulling about of people or the coughing at the bare minimum of the uh, displaced that would camp out in the shadows of these structures, um, overtaking that is now uh, an eerie sort of silence. Um, but Generation Red's building is still there. And so as you approach, uh, and I assume you're entering their building as well, correct? Oh yeah. Yeah, so as you walk in, um, you hear the uh, ever slight and quiet sound of a weapon being raised. And then you hear, oh shit, it's you Celsius. Fuck. Do you, um, think, do you think anybody else would have the balls to walk in here on their own? On any week before this one? No. After what happened a few nights ago? And you could just see, like, genuine fear, like, child fear in their eyes, right? Like, of just that uncertainty and, like, a uh, a lack of understanding of exactly what's going on. Um, that Yeah, but in this kid's eyes, you're just seeing, like, that, that there is, like, a just a genuine fear of what's happening. And uh, they just say, I don't know what to think anymore. I thought we were safe here. We were deep so in the zone. I can't remember their name, but the leader of the gang in particular. Apex. Um, Apex, I'm going to see if I can request a meeting with everybody who's currently there and Apex to sort of give them the lowdown on what's going on, if they have, if they really don't know. Sure, yeah. And they... they um, when when uh, you reached out to them, or I, someone reached out to them at the end of the last session, and they said they hid, right? Um, yeah. So, so you at least had that context of like, you know, they, they were hiding until they heard that the threat had passed. Um, so you ask then, so you're asking just to go up and, and kind of fill them in on, on what has happened. Yeah. I want to give them a lowdown of what we're up to, what we know is going on and what the message we received was. Yeah. Cool. So you are definitely, yeah, they allow you up. They, they lower the kind of ramshackle lift down to you. Um, so that you can go up to this upper story where they've got their their hideout, uh, the bulk of it. Um, and they direct you back, uh, not to the boardroom that you had the window view from the last time you met with them on the upper floors of their building. Rather, this one is a, built, or a, a room closer to the center of the building that is more enclosed, more defensible, um, and uh, is lit by the uh, remnants of several flickering halogen bulbs in the ceiling. Um, as you walk in, you can see Apex and several of the other members talking and making marks on a, um, you know it's probably a slightly dated map of the zone, uh, but you can see in, on the map that they've started marking off the blocks to the north and west of here um, that have been burned, essentially. Um, and you could see that Blades has uh, kind of soot on her clothes um, as uh, you kind of walk into the, the room and, and want to talk with them. So I'm not even going to say a word. I'm just going to sit down or stand up wherever they're at and go, look, I need to give you guys a little bit of information because shit's about to get really dangerous. You think it was bad the other night? Wait till you see what you're really up against. And uh, Apex kind of looks at you uh, 
behind her gas mask. Um, and while obviously it's like hard to see her eyes through it, um, you definitely get the sense of like a hesitation. Um, and um, pushing past that after a moment, she says, all right, then uh, spill. What, what are we up against? The first thing's first, I'll slap the agent down and play the message that was sent, just showing the, the full body conversion, the giant robot that was apparently, you know, fighting fire with fire, yeah. I guess. Yep, and so, yeah, the, it's a brimstone model uh, conversion that, that you see there. Um, and you immediately see the younger members of the, the Yo Gang kind of, like, shrink back from this thing, like, as they see uh, a full kitted out tax squad led by this, like, in their eyes, probably monstrous uh, metal figure leading the charge through this fire strewn cityscape uh, into their backyard, quite literally. Um, and Apex, um, stares at it for a moment longer than than they hesitated before uh before she asks you so what do we do stay out of it don't try to fight these things they don't care about you they don't care about themselves they're barely even human at this point good news we're gonna be doing a little bit of that or a little bit of that ourselves not me in particular but some people and um i mean if they come back i mean they say three weeks i mean where do we go we're probably next well you have shelter in, in my room at least i know it's cramped as hell in there but hopefully it'll at least keep you away from the fires Yeah, I mean, and you can see they're, they're, they're all kind of like stunned and they, they are kind of looking at each other and mostly um, after a couple of glances between themselves, all of them look to Blades and Apex. Uh, Blades because she's probably the oldest one among the gang and Apex because she's the leader. Um, and they all are kind of looking at them expecting an answer. Um, and they're both kind of just silent, kind of thinking to tell, like, what the hell do we do about this? So I'll notice the silence and just straight up tell them both. I'll say, do yourselves a favor. Stay the hell out of those burnt out areas. Nothing good's going to come out of there. And, um, Blades looks at you, obviously, again, her, her, uh, clothing, uh, covered in soot as she's clearly roped through the areas and she says well I mean the what do we do about food I mean most of my supply routes I mean how all of my supply routes and she's like looking at the map as she's saying this they burned all of them like they've taken all of the ways I would get into the wider city what do I do? Like, we need food. We need water. We need supplies. What, what, what do you expect us to do about that? Let me, let me talk to Paradox. I might be able to at least help you guys out a little bit. Okay. I mean, I know things have gotten tighter around the zone in general. I mean, been a lot of a lot of people we hear when we were out and about talking about how the gardens aren't doing what they should we're working on that for now be safe i mean i trust you i mean we had to save you once so i don't want to have to do it again and i don't want to have to find you dead on the side of a road somewhere yeah and that you could tell like they're they're all still kind of just processing uh, and maybe are a little, more than a little stunned at like kind of where this is all escalated to. Uh, to them, this is like, this is uh, not 
at all what they had imagined would happen. Um, even though they lived in a, you know, fucked up, desolate part of the city, they don't, you know, you can tell, like, these at their core, they're still kids. Um, even if they're a little bit battle-hardened now. I mean, I'll look at it and I'll say, look, I was just like you. My parents, my family, the runners I worked with, all gone. I'm very lucky to be where I am today, but it was only because of smart decisions. I'd recommend you take my advice, but if it comes down to life or death, I know that you'll make the right decisions. And Apex, for the kind of the first time since you kind of started presenting uh, your case, um, she nods at you and just says, yeah, we'll, um, we'll talk about it. We've got some things that we need to discuss, but, you know, thanks for letting us know the score out there. Cause, oh, why did it have to be us? So I'll spend the next few minutes. I'm actually just going to, um, tell them all the fun stuff that actually went down how we shot down the jets and sort of mm -hmm. bring their spirit a little bit but yeah. before, and then i'll out and head back to the uh the building yeah and but yeah by the time you leave they definitely look like they are their their spirits have raised a little bit but there's still that underlying like you feel that tension still somewhat in the air even after all of that um knowing that whatever happens next it's going to be dire and important and it's quite realistically life or death so um but yeah you leave them and uh, as you exit the room um you hear a couple of the younger members um with the exception of uh of the the lookout there um who follows you out um and uh lookout is their actual handle so uh lookout follows you uh, back to the lift um, and just says take care Celsius you don't have to worry about us we, we, we've dealt with things like this before I'll look I'll look, uh, look out a little bit disapprovingly in the sense that I really don't think they've dealt with full body conversion firefighting robots before but no but but yeah like you can tell as much as uh, you know she clearly looks scared right but um, but you can tell like Lookout has that like look of child like uh, or maybe adolescent defiance, right? Like w they they truly believe they can do something here, right? I mean, oh, that's fighting spirit. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, they let you down. Um, um, and as you're uh, kind of walking out the front door, um you you hear the hiss of a uh you recognize the hiss of like an aerosol can um and if you look toward it look out is spraying something on the upper level visible from that front door um that just says this is home you do not belong here and uh and like a a uh, if you stand there long enough you see a big old red circle a pig like the the very rough visage of a pig and then a red line just crossed over it um like so you could tell yeah they they are their spirits are not broken but you could tell that they are definitely still scared as as you kind of leave their hideout yep i'll ride back <clears throat> i just wanted to make sure they knew what the fuck was going on yeah no now they do if they didn't before they do now so with that said, so that would probably eat uh, a chunk of like a day, right? What would you like to, um, what would you like to do, um, from there? Like with the remaining. I'd honestly downtown? probably spend the rest of the time um, trying to help the new refugees in the semiconductor building to see if they need any help with uh, anything because it's just a ton of displaced people and it's uh, new people that I haven't quite met. So I'd sort of try to get the lay of the land. Maybe sure. see if there's anybody there that was a little more important than they, you know, they appear. Sure. Um, go ahead and let me lower the title card here. Bear with me just a moment. There we go. Um, go ahead and roll me a um, 
we will call it let's see human perception let's see what you roll for human perception even though i know you know you're uh, not the highest empathy character okay so you look around you don't see anyone that like strikes you as being incredibly important or like notable amongst the refugees um however uh you do notice uh there are a few people that have kind of gathered because um celsius remind me you and blue don't live very far from each other in as far as like where your crates are inside the building right i had assumed they were sort of like opposite like across the if you were to walk across the building itself gotcha yeah, I was yeah. assuming like a couple doors down somewhere on the same floor at least yeah, yeah, yeah and i mean both could technically be true because the inside of this building is it's like a factory floor so it's like it's big but you're in living in cargo containers so it's like not that big right so there's probably about like eight containers on your floor um and yeah like yours is probably about third from the right blue and celsius yours is probably about second from the left so there's there's about like maybe four containers between you it's not not uh, enough to really uh be too uh far a distance and yeah you can see each other because at the bottom level there's kind of this courtyard that uh during the day is kind of overtaken by these sort of day markets that sell all kinds of um ammo grenades etc right so um as you walk into the building and you're kind of doing this scoping around um you notice a couple characters that like they don't look entirely out of place for the zone but you notice more that they are a little coordinated um and you see this group of three they look like they're uh maybe like they, they're either really old teenagers uh or like really young 20 somethings they kind of ride that line uh to your you know lower human perception here um so with that in mind um you notice they're wearing kind of like bright neon print uh if a little you know scuffed and dirty like most clothing is here in the zone um but they're kind of like massing you could kind of tell that they look lost right they look like they're looking for someone or something and they're not seeing it immediately um so that that is like the one group of standout individuals that you do notice I'll go uh, see what's up. I mean, I'll approach them and pretty much just say, hey, you guys uh, look new here, like most other people. Uh, anything I can do for you to help out? I sort of uh, am security around these parts. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 Chum. Uh, so we, um, I'll be honest with you, man. We, we uh, haven't been able to get our shit lately. You know, like n none of the finer things in life that little bit of uh powdered happiness sunshine if you will we heard there was uh real fucking good tech around these parts boss told us that uh she met a dude from around here uh brewed some of the primest fucking drugs we we're looking for him i might know that particular individual but uh, who's your boss uh go goes by the name sugar bomb one of the piranha cooks so without really like i don't know if you want me to roll stealth or whatever but i'll message blue and be like hey there's people here to want to buy some shit. you got anything on you um i'm just gonna reply uh i've been kind of busy this week i got enough for a couple of sample packs of what's latest but nothing for wholesale uh you you cool if i send them your way yeah go ahead and send one up all right so I'll, I'll, I'll sort of just got out who looks the most important or who's taking the lead in conversation and I'll just sort of point them in the direction and then tell them to uh, head up on their own. Yeah, so um, yeah, there's one of them that's a little bit taller um, and yeah, it kind of looks like maybe a little more put together, mentally at least, than the other two. Um, so yeah, you, um, before too long, he just kind of thanks you and then uh, you see him wander up the scaffolding uh, behind you to that upper tier of cargo containers. Yep. Um, I, I do want to know, I want to meet him at the front of the landing, like the top of the stairs, so he doesn't know exactly what room I'm in. 
Sure, yeah. So you kind of come out of your container and yeah, as he walks up the stairs, uh, he almost kind of half walks into you because he seems like he's kind of spacing out as he's kind of walking. He's like, oh shit, fuck. Uh, uh, you, uh, you the guy? Well, it depends what you need, what you're looking for. Uh, boss said she bought some really preem fucking shit from you. Uh, some glass laced shit that she said was absolutely Nova. And, uh, well, we wanted some of that because she's been unable to, uh, cook lately. Ah, so finally getting a take on a couple of these babies and I'm going to pull out a couple of the blue lace grenades or blue glass grenades. Yeah. And so sh they look down the, well, shit, Shun, that's not like any air hypo I've seen before. And like not fully comprehending at first what is, holy wait. And he like notices the label on the side explosive. That's probably still there from like the base smoke grenade this was made out of. It says, <laughs> wait, what the fuck is this? Well, you see, these aren't really great for private parties, but they're great to bring to a party. I it's mean, the whole room going. Shit, you. I mean, you saying me and my guys down there, we could fucking hotbox a crate with one of these? <laughs> well, I don't know if you'd ever make it out of the crate, but it might be a fun time for those to do. Shit. What you charging? Uh, make me an offer. Ah, fuck. I mean, God. For some bombs lace, I mean, we would pay... I don't know, 50 eds a dose. So, I mean, uh, I, shit, if, if we get a hot box for all of us, that's just, And he's like doing, you can see he's kind of like counting the guys down, uh, talking to Celsius still. I'm and he's like, off. I won't make you count that high. I won't make you count that high. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll call it, we'll call it 150 and I'll just expect to return customer. I'm fucked, June. Yeah. Uh, Oh shit, I nearly forgot. And he he's already got the Eddie's like to hand to you. So so he's like willing to, you know, buy it for what you've offered. Um mm -hmm. he says uh the, the other reason we're here besides getting our fucking rocks off. Um we uh bomb wanted to invite you uh, and I guess any of your chooms that want to make it uh to one of our parties down by the uh bay, old Japan town. Uh end of the week. Uh, she's got a big old shindig put together and she wants you and yours to uh, make an appearance. Says she might have uh, a little project that you can help with. Nice. I'll make some party favors. Hey, yeah, that's... I was hoping you'd say that, Chum. Th thanks a lot, man. I mean, really. And you could tell, like, tell you could barely contain his excitement to try whatever the fuck is in this smoke grenade. <laughs> I had two to sell, by the way. Is he just taking one or is he taking both of them off my hands? Um, so he's taking one of them off your hands because he's like assuming he could just dose okay. himself and his whole group. And if it's as good as you've advertised, he's like that. He's thinking it'd probably be good. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. So. Um, so with that, um, he comes down and rejoins the group you're talking to Celsius. He's like, Chooms. We got something real fucking preem. And he like flashes the grenade. They're like, the fuck is that? That looks like a weapon of mass destruction. He says, yeah, it'll really light our goddamn neurons on fire. Just come on. We got to go try this shit. And uh, they, or they rush off. I'm going to put my hand on one of their shoulders and go. Yeah. Look, leave a way out. Make sure your doors are open. Don't lock them. This shit's serious, but have fun. Uh, yeah, 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 no, totally true. We're not novices. We've done this before, and uh, oh, yeah, no idea. <laughs> and so, uh, those gongs are dead. Says Culture Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of them will survive. Somebody has to kill them all in the drug killed craze, right? Right. Yeah. So, um, with that, um, yeah, the the group of them leave out of the the crate. Um, but so they've told you the, the date they've told you basically, um, uh, is that this is going to take place at like the end of the week. So you've got about four days, uh, before this party is kind of due to happen. 
Yeah, and um, when he goes to walk down, I'll walk by, not directly behind him, but, like, one set of stairs behind him, you know, just that little bit of distance. Yeah. And then I'll just kind of walk up and uh, inform Celsius what happened when it was up there and give him the invite to the party, because I could probably use my local security there, too. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So, um, with that said... So Celsius, I know we still had some uh, some time left as far as like downtime you could use. Or are you just spending the rest just kind of situating people and making sure the place is kind of locked down? Do you have any shopping you need to do? No, I think I'm good on shopping. Yeah, I'm probably just going to stick around and uh, make sure every, all the rest of the security is sort of aware of what we needs to be done. Sure. Okay. Um, so yeah, so the rest of the days uh, in the week kind of pass uh thankfully fairly uneventfully um you did mention i will say this uh just to make sure that you didn't forget this um did you want to reach out to paradox regarding uh generation red and, and their situation yeah I'll, I'll shoot him a quick message to see if he's got any extra supplies i know he's sort of tight but i'll mention that it's for uh kids sure um and so paradox let me roll something here real quick for him. Roll a thing here for him because he's okay. So, um, so Paradox um, responds to you and says, I think I got a couple of spots couple of untapped little caches um but don't be surprised if we're gonna start running low here we've got maybe i don't know week and a half two tops of rations to kind of hand out and then we're dry no i appreciate the help you'll like this one she's uh she's an up-and-comer look forward to it maybe we can get her to see the garden of her own on top of their building well from where they're at i don't think there's much of a chance of getting a garden started they're probably gonna have to get the hell out of dodge soon yeah hopefully that doesn't come to that but yeah thanks for pointing me in their direction i'll send some guys over there make sure they got what they need all right, so I'll, I'll immediately let the, the kids know that somebody will be coming over to help them to yes. not just turn their heads off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and uh, Apex responds to you, yeah, thanks for the heads up. We, uh, we'll make sure the guns stay low. <laughs> <laughs> so um, with that, um, the rest of the week kind of uh, goes by without further incident. Um, it's, you know, relatively calm outside of the, you know, aforementioned plumes of dust on the horizon and the occasional rumble from a larger building collapsing. Um, let me real quick here. I just need to pull my thing up here. Um, so blue, given that you need to spend kind of the week, uh, finishing your, uh, gun. You do have part of that last day before the party, where if you wanted to cook anything, you do have the ability to cook a little bit. Uh, probably not enough to make like grenades, but to cook drugs, you probably have the time. Well, I still have one more of the grenades anyways, because the guy only bought one. So I already right. have some devious plans for that. But hmm. What would be an interesting one hitter? Huh. You know, I didn't actually. <laughs> uh, you know, it'd be fun. Could I pick up a can of smash somewhere and just try and crystallize it and crush it up into the synth blue? So it'll be like a special one run of blue blue glass uh synth coke and smash Ooh, just every party drug in one breath i mean yeah you might be able to get a, a batch of that whipped together um because smash is really easy to come by um around these parts even you have access to piranha smash which is uh, i believe really no more expensive let me uh 
Let me just really quick. It's gonna pop something up on my main screen briefly here. I mean, if I can source better materials, I'm not gonna say no. Right. Even if it does cost a little bit extra, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, let me... I'm just gonna double check one thing real quick. Because that's... I did not have Black Chrome Plus pulled up, which is what that's from. Here we go. And we're looking at... There. Piranha Smash. No, it's the same cost. Same cost. Uh, and it's kind of a homebrew, not less addictive version of Smash. Um, so with that being what it is, um, so we're talking about like kind of blending the three. Are we blending mostly for recreational purposes though? Like we're not necessarily looking to get someone like turboed off of the synth coke. We're just looking to have them get a bit of a rush from it kind of thing. Yeah, it's the, however the usual dosage for synth cokes work, works with you, because I've I already have that uh, yeah, the synth coke that I mix blue lace into, so I'm just trying to add in, smash effect. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so you're just trying to like, the smash is the only extra thing you need, basically, is what you're saying. You don't need to uh, make any more lace, or like yeah, the glass. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, if we're really just combining for like a party, like a party drug kind of thing, not like, yeah, this is going to give you all the benefits of each of these, but it'll give you like the pleasant kind of uh, side effects no. of them, then we we could call it a 20 eddy item um, that like if you've got all three of these, you know, we don't need any additional ingredients. Um, it'll just eat. Uh, I think for a 20 Eddy item, it's like, I want to say it's like two hours. Maybe it's just an hour. Let me double check. Um, Cause this is on the low end. I forget. Cause I know we deal so much with like hundred Eddies and up that I'm like, those I've memorized everything <laughs> yeah. below that line. I'm like, wait, I'm too much of a component junkie. I like to know all the parts that go into my thing. So they all build up from these tiny things. No, yeah, you're chilling, you're chilling. Um, yeah, so for something that is uh, costly, yeah. So this this would uh, run you, um, this would run you a, normally this would be like a six hour cook, um, but y you could probably get a couple batches of that uh, kind of running in between things here um, so that you have enough to kind of supply party favors around at the, the the thing on the at the end of the week yeah one good batch cut into little taster bags so as we're greeting people i can toss them around yeah because let me let me double check actually because diamond just said she thinks it's just an hour oh cheap and every day that's the two lowest price categories okay i misread that table so yeah actually it's only an hour for each batch so yeah you have time to cook up plenty uh even with just that afternoon available to you You've got like five or six hours from when you like wake up till you really need to get going. So yeah, you're able to cook plenty of that. That that won't be a problem at all. Um, just roll me a fabrication along basic tech, please. Roll a fabrication along basic tech. Sending. Yeah. Fuck yeah, no problem at all. Easy. Yeah, you you make like you actually uh, double your efficiency. So whatever the amount of doses you could have made normally, because of how good you are at just like fabricating basic drugs like this, uh, you double it with that check. Uh, that's that's Jeez. not even that difficult for you. So, I, I probably had uh, I probably had enough time for like four batches, but I only had two packs of the like uh, synth coke blue glass prepared. So I'm only able to do two batches. But if you want to still split that into a double, that'd be well, cool. Well, you. You cut it though. You cut it with the smash, so it's like you can spread that a little further, obviously. So, yeah, you're you're able to you're able to get that uh, you know cut down to such an extent that it still has its efficacy uh, as like a party drug. But again, it's not it's not gonna create someone able to dodge bullets or anything. It's gonna be pretty mild on the effects of that. But it's kind of like gonna give someone like a nice low-end hallucinogenic kind of high um, that that keeps them still ready to party. 
uh, that that's kind of like what the uh, after effect of, of that synthesis is going to look like. Nice. Yeah. So um, with that said, yeah, you've, I mean, you've got like eight doses worth amongst what you have just from, like I said, the sheer efficiency of it. Um, you're, you're pretty much good to go. Nice. Um, I'm going to use synth coke as the base for it, just as like a title thing, just so that I can track yeah. how many I have. Totally, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can change the name, I believe, once it's in your inventory. So yeah, you you can just yeah, like make it party glass or something like that. Yep. And smash was you were saying twenty eddies for the can of smash, or was Ten. it fifty? Ten. Ten. Jesus. Ten, Ten for can. Yeah. They're, they're really cheap. So basically, yeah, for this, you're just going to need four cans of Smash. So you need 40 Eddies, basically, for the amount of synthesis you're doing. Nice. Yeah. Let's track that for cooking. Mm -hmm. Grab my synth coke. You said I get like eight doses, or was it six? Eight. Eight. Yep. Eight. I'm short term memory. There we go. You're totally fine. <laughs> uh, and then I think that basically does it for me. I'm happy and ready to party. Very, very cool. All right. So um, you guys uh, get together uh, as the afternoon is kind of beginning to uh, perhaps touch close to the evening. Uh, and you're not the only ones, I, I should add, that are kind of moving in this direction as the uh, you know evening is kind of looming closer. Um, you see a couple other people that, um, some of them new arrivals that are moving in the direction of this, uh, spot in old Japantown. Um, and as you move over there, so let me put my notes up. This is now we're beginning the adventure proper. Uh, we're, we're through the hook. So, um, you are heading towards a spot uh, and you may have even confirmed with, with Sugar Bomb, because I believe you swapped details with her back at the night market uh, in um, uh, over at the uh, Purgatory Club before. Yep. You guys I did still it. have my I still have a thing of enhanced blue glass that I still need to do testing and stuff on. I've just been <laughs> preoccupied. No, totally. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, you might even have confirmed it with her, I would imagine, that, you know, like, where you're going and stuff like that. Because these guys probably didn't do the best job of explaining that. Yeah, I'd probably let her know I'm bringing a plus one as well, just because I feel like that's kind to inform. Put him on the list. Totally, no. And she says, hey, you know, whatever, whichever you choose wants to come and help out with the, the little task I've got put together, you're more than welcome to come enjoy the festivities and, and help me out. Um, so, um with that um she sends you a location for something called the walled garden um the info you get off of the data pool for this spot is that it used to be a conapt community of some kind um but you know where it's located and you know that there are sections of that part of the city much like the old combat zone that have just been like shoved into the bay as fill like it's it's uh not exactly what we call an upscale modern sort of living situation um so as you guys get close to the area kind of following along with this crowd um you're noticing that uh the first thing you catch is you hear the sound of some like heavier uh like synth music uh some like techno like rave kind of beats let me let me see because i know i had elements of this in my playlist but i don't know if i can just pluck one out here that's like yes i know this is this is absolutely it let me see here is this one of those yeah that'll work um so as you all approach um or as the two of you approach you're uh, noticing a yes there's a conapt uh, community about four stories tall uh, behind as the name would suggest a large somewhat decayed concrete wall 
with a large fence on the outside. Um, and standing by this fence are two, um, two slightly more put together, it looks, members of the Piranha Gang, uh, each wielding a, an assault rifle um, with gas masks on. And standing next to them, tall as hell, is this large figure with a big old mask on. And you could see a minigun strapped uh, across their uh, back with like a belt-fed backpack uh, ammo reservoir. Um, and uh, as you come up, um, you see a, a group of uh, what appear to be booster gangers. And you could hear... Uh, as you get close enough that one of them's like, no, Choom, we're on the fucking list. I swear to fucking God, Joe. He's, no, you aren't fucking out of here. Get out of here, leave. Like, and so these guys, one of them just gets literally thrown on the concrete and his two buddies just follow them out. Um, so Joe looks over you all and just says, and who are these randos that are showing up to our party now? Randos, I'm the candy man. Check the list for blue. And he looks down at his agent. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. We just had these fucking posers. Um, yeah, Sugar told me you were coming. Yeah, absolutely, right this way. And he literally just steps back and lets you through the gate at that point. Um, so as you all walk inside, um, so we are going to quickly change perspective for a moment over to Peacock. So Peacock, um, you've come here from the precipice along with several other members of the Piranhas. Um, and the Piranhas form uh, groups. They're kind of like, think of them like they're like cells, right? But they call them shoals. They are mm -hmm. groups of Piranha members that uh, kind of all operate together. And when a party is thrown, usually the party is for that shoal. Uh, and, and occasionally the people they invite in. Um, so tonight, Sugar Bomb, who's kind of one of the people leading your group, uh, has kind of thrown this thing. Um, and she just, uh, would have probably approached you earlier in the day and told you, Hey, don't get too fucked up tonight. There's a job. I've got some edge runners coming from the old combat zone. Uh, they'll probably need your help with what I got planned. Ooh, sounds fun. Yeah, I mean, it uh, involves digging through some old pre-war shit. So something mm -hmm. that I thought you might be interested in. Okay. Yeah, but so so as you, uh, the, the two of you arrive, um, you see Sugar Bomb uh, tap and Peacock, this would be you. She taps your mm -hmm. shoulder and kind of motions you to follow her as kind of the party has gotten going. You know, drugs have started being inhaled through uh, inhalers uh, injected by air hypos, like the, the party's rolling, right? Um, mm -hmm. But so she motions you to follow her uh, and uh, she walks up Celsius to you and Blue um, and just says, well, hello, Chooms. Welcome to my humble little, little party here. And behind her, you could just see this whole uh, Conapt complex is lit up in all kinds of like strobing LEDs and um, like you got basic kind of gas pyrotechnics going off, um, all kinds of fun stuff. So with that said, um, she says, if you don't mind, um, I wanna show you a little bit of the operation here. Nothing else better to do, Let's check it out. Thanks for the invite, be my guest. Yeah, and so she leads you back into the building, down through some of the corridors, uh, and you already see uh, some of the other Piranha members inside um, really partying hard. Some of them are already, like, you can tell they're glassed out. They are feeling the effects of the various party drugs that they've come to kind of enjoy. Um, and she looks back at you and she says, oh, I should probably introduce... Uh, my friend, this is Peacock. Uh, he's one of our local wireheads. Uh, he is uh, pretty damn good at what he does. Joined up with us a couple months back after, well, the shit show up north. So um, he'll be helping you out tonight with what we've got going on. Um, Shush, she's making me blush. <laughs> 
and she kind of gives you like yeah, knowing grin um she and so she leads you back to one of these uh one of these uh converted apartments essentially um and so she uh unlocks the door and when you walk in you see uh the back half of the room is still more or less resembling a living space this front part of the room however uh is a full-on just a lab right and to you blue it probably makes you almost like envious for a moment as you kind of look at the um just the sheer amount of like cookware and uh different flasks different um kind of machines set up there and uh sugar bomb says this is the lab where I do most of my cooking. And um, she kind of like, you know, looks around the outside and um, she says, my shoal normally comes through here. They pick up what I have to offer. It is one of those spots where we produce all the kind of fun drugs that I sell at night markets. Uh, now, normally this place would probably be cooking right now, even during the party. Um, and it would all be very nice and maintained, but, uh, last week the crew brought back some chems and, uh, I don't know if it was their fault cause they were too scared out of their fucking minds or if the corpse sabotaged it when they put it into whatever disposal they pulled it out of. But bottom line, uh, I threw it into my distillery and she kind of looks over and you can see there's this where everything else is maybe a little cobbled together, but definitely functional, similar to your equipment. There's this one section where you can see this giant black uh, kind of soot mark and burn in the uh, countertop and the wall behind it, um, where there looks like there used to be something set up there. She says, sadly, the thing burned my whole fucking distill rig down to the ground. So I need another one. And until I get another one, because this is pretty critical in most of the things I cook, I can't cook. So that's where you all come in. Because I think I've scoped out uh, a spot where they might have another one of them kicking around. A uh, nice one too. I think this one was a Biotechnica model. The problem is it is uh, deep on in the hot zone. So you understand my skezzed out gonk friends here can't really do what it is you guys do. And seeing as I know you guys were at least somewhat responsible, if the grapevine is to be believed, for the downfall of Securicorp, I mean, fuck, what am I to do but call on the best, right? And I pay like the best, too. I'm offering each one of you two grand to go in there, get my rig, get it back to me, and then I'm even willing to sweeten that pot just a little bit for you, Blue, because I know... You're still cooking out of your old ca cargo container, right? Something similar. This is definitely not the kitchen you have here. So this is what I'm willing to offer. You get me my distill rig. I obviously pay you like I've said. But to sweeten it one step further, you give me some of your formulas and I cut you in on some business that I can do. My connection, my network. Together we start cooking some shit together. So my cookware becomes your cookware. My network gets a little bit more, shall we say, tasty for the uh, people that benefit off of it. People who buy from me, buy from you. What do you say? It sounds like a great plan. That's what I was hoping you'd say. All right. Well, much as I'd like you to all enjoy the party, I know the shoal is kind of packing up here after tonight. And sometime tomorrow, probably later in the afternoon, if I did be a guess, they're probably going to move on to some other spot. That said, I still produce out of here. 
So the goal is if you guys could go tonight and grab it, this is where I think it is. With that, she pulls out her agent and displays a, um, a map um, and she's highlighted a section of the old medical center, um, which is basically the, the old hospital that used to sit in the middle of the city. She says, there's an old operations unit here that if the people I talk to are to be believed, they, well, let's just say they haven't been able to really get through there. But it sounds like the scavs that normally haunt these places haven't had much luck either. So my hope is that even if they found the spot, generally this is some pretty sophisticated shit. So unless you're a tech worth their salt or a you know, drug runner like my crew is, you don't pay it a second thought. It just looks like some lab shit. The fuck do you need lab shit for most of the time? They're looking for chrome. They're looking for you know, fancy doodads, guns, maybe a blueprint if their brain hasn't totally rotted out from the radiation. So I think that what I'm looking for is probably there. One of their labs somewhere collecting radioactive dust. So you go and you grab it. You know, you might need two hands to carry it. But you get it out of there. You just let me know. I'll send you a ride. You pull it back here. I pay you out. And then we get to talking about what we're going to do cooking going forward. Sounds like an easy start to business, but since we are going into the hot zone, do you have any sort of environmental protection? I do not feel like getting irradiated and growing a third arm. And that is unfortunately something that I am lacking. Uh, rad suits are not exactly what we call an easy to find item. Even uh, before the Inferno, they were pretty fucking hard to come by. And now that the whole front or the whole north side of the city is a fucking crater, wouldn't you know it? They've gotten even more difficult to source. So, no luck there. Um, let me check above table something, though, really quick. Because she might have connections for something else. That, while not protection, could maybe help. Mm. Gonna get some iodine tabs. I was gonna right. see if anybody had a map of the area to see if there's, like, for sure zones we should avoid. Mm. Yeah, um... So let me let me look at something here real quick, guys. And I will go. Cause uh ghost, remind me, do you have uh do you have cyber eyes at all? Or you you run really light on the chrome, right? I I run uh IRUE. It's part of the only chrome that I have. I do run light, but two of the important bits. Might actually be the only bits I'd have to double check are IR UV eyes and uh, nasal filters. Got it. Yeah, I mean those those make sense. Oh, I have a tool hand in my meat hand. Okay. Uh, uh, so let me let me roll because I don't have sugar bombs uh, stat block created formally, but I can roll because she's majority tech and like minority fixer. So I can roll, she would be probably at this. Oh yeah, okay. Um, one thing here real quick. Yep, yep, that beats it, awesome. So she says, luck would have it. I do, have a couple rocks that I could take the goods out from underneath around here that are uh, able to enhance some eyes to see radiation. Sounds like a fun thing to put on. Yeah. The best part is you only need one of them. That said, they ain't cheap. So while I'm willing to let them go for their street price, not take a cut off of it because you're doing me a favor, 
I do have to ask uh, that one way or another, I get a thousand eddies for these. I mean, that works for me. Okay. I mean, I'm happy to get uh, one of our med techs to install it in you. What about you, Blue? Ah, uh, sure. It's, it sounds like something that'll definitely come in handy. I mean, you're usually a lookout and he looks back at Celsius, but I should probably have a chance to see what's coming if I'm, if it's going to get hot. Beautiful. So, um, both of you can add, so this is, this is standard cyberware, um, from the book. So you can add a radiation detector cyberware. Uh, it takes one, uh, option slot in your cyber eye. And uh, Nyla, if you do, you have a cyber eye. I do not, unfortunately. You do not. Okay, now, that's still fine. You got two of the three of you that all have radiation detectors in your eyes, so that's mm -hmm. definitely better than uh, better than nothing. I'll just stay between them. Yeah, <laughs> easy. <right. laughs> Did you ship the humanity loss? Uh, so it's yeah, gonna be roll it, roll the humanity loss. Okay, just making sure you had table up. Yep. Hey, not bad. Sugar, I got a question. Yeah. So let's say we get past the radiation, right? You know, not, not inconsequential. Let's say we get in there. What kind of security are we looking at? Because Biotechnica, I mean, uh, they got turrets, they got, uh, you know, whatever. You got any intel on that? Dusty, dated, old, unless the scabs have put something in and then they probably mm. hauled it in on a backpack. So, nothing crazy. Mm. <clears throat> unless, yeah. they've, unless they've wired something up from the old security system, but I mean, half the shit in there has been shaken down and, you know. How old are we talking? I mean, pre-war. Shit. God. And that's where All you right. come in, because I think there could be some fun stuff in there if you know where to look. High risk, high reward. That's how I like it, baby. That's why I thought you might like this job. So, that said, any other questions for me? No, I'm good. Wonderful. I'm ready to rock. I'll let you know when it's done. Awesome. Yeah, just let Joe know to pull the car around. One of my guys will give you a ride up there. Oh, and before I forget, now that we're done with all the serious business, enjoy the rest of your party, and I'm going to toss her one of the party last things. Oh, gotcha, yeah. And she says, shit. Wait, did you bake this just for the party? Yeah, it's a shame we didn't really have time to hand them out, but another occasion. Shoom, hand them over to me. I'll make sure they get into the hands of people. And like I said, let it just be the first of our uh, blossoming partnership. Cut you in on whatever we sell. Sure, just make sure they know where it came from. <laughs> oh, my name get out there early. Don't you worry. No, a couple. Yeah, there was a couple of my guys came back fucking. What was it? Two days ago? Three days ago? Uh, I think they popped one of those grenades of yours in their conat. And, uh, well, shit, man. They were fucking glassed over for the next day and a half. Uh, they did say they wanted to hotbox with it. I'm glad they had a good time. Yeah, I mean, there was blue smoke pouring out of their room for about two hours after they finally aired it out. So I'd say they did it. Um, so they've already been singing your praises the fact you cook something for us for the party i mean just gonna sing a little louder right true enough all right well i will talk to you soon when we get this business handled for you yeah and now we're just gonna walk out with a smile on his face yeah we'll talk just let me know when you need the ride and we'll, we'll get you back here um and so with that um trying to think was there anything 
else that I wanted to talk about here before we move on. Um, no, I think we're good here. Okay, cool. So with that said, you all hop in the car and I am going to uh, go ahead here. Do, do, do. Blue train to a cyberpunk Heisenberg. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Same. Celsius, we have to, we have to cook. <laughs> Celsius, we have to cook. Science, bitch. Science, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. While while we're on the car ride, um, yeah. I I want to take the opportunity. I just want to I want to talk to both uh, Blue and Celsius. So uh, I know Sugar introduced me, but unfortunately she uh, didn't make me privy to y'all's names. And uh, I'd very much like to know who I'm going into the hot zone with. What are so y'all's names? I'll look you up and down because I don't usually work with uh, with uh, with net runners. I'm typically mm -hmm. people who are more uh, infatuated with the throwing lead than you know diving down in networks. So uh, I'll just go. My name's Celsius. Uh, all I need to know from you is you know how to handle one of these, and I'll throw my sniper rifle on my lap. Uh, that's a little big for me. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll um make sure the safety's on, and I'll pull out my. Uh, I think I have a heavy pistol. Yeah, uh, I think you you should have a heavy pistol. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just pull that out, and I'll be like, "Listen, I've only been in a handful of scrapes in my life, but this pistol right here, it's gotten me through them all." I know how to handle it just fine. Sounds maybe one day. Sounds good to me. Just to make sure I don't have to keep protecting your ass. I'm pretty good at it, but I got other shit to deal with. I'd appreciate it, but let me tell you, networks, not a problem. Not with me around. Oh, M. Um, mm -hmm. I think when you copied my character sheet, my uh, body armor uh, took some damage from uh, the last session I played, and can I just go ahead and repair that? Yeah, you just mark it as repaired, because you definitely okay. had time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. Yep, awesome. Okay. So... You're talking about uh, an underwhelming weapon that uh, has just gotten him through a lot of blue, just gonna kind of pat his uh, matchmaker. And go, yeah, name's Blue, I've got pretty much the same kind of thing going on with this. <laughs> Well, shit, boys, it's not how, about how big it is. It's about how you use it. It's yeah. Like... <laughs> I mean, and, and... Yeah. I'll just shake my head in disagreement. You've, you've <sighs> seen, and so I, I will say this, uh, Nyla. Uh, Peacock mm -hmm. would probably be familiar with what a matchmaker is. Uh, it is not impressive. This thing is basically a pipe gun that loads a um... single slug in it. And it's the, the name comes from... You pop one guy, take their gun. Oh, look, a match. And you just take that shit from them. So um, it's it's meant to uh, match make you with a new gun. That's better. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. so adorable. It's, it's, uh, it's in black chrome. I think it's what? Is that like 100? No, it's not even 100, Eddie. It's like 50, right? I, yeah, it's it's super cheap. I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, it's it's a it's a cute ass gun. I, I like that uh, gun. Um adorable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so you guys hop in uh you've been in the car basically. Um and the pavement kinda ends. You pull uh just past the end of like where the precipice is, and that's kind of behind you see the neon fade in the background. Before you is the uh scattered and fairly dark hot zone um and so those of you with low light vision obviously not really a problem you can still see uh peacock for you it's probably a little dark um mm -hmm. so you do i believe yeah you do have a flashlight um so if you need to see you can uh you know turn that on and, and see around in the dark but um as mm -hmm. you guys kind of approach uh let me I need to do something. This is why disabled for the audience. 
disabled your view of my map because I need to uh, do something on my end here real quick. Well, you deal with that. I just got to say, it's probably really annoying being the one guy in the crew with no uh, IRUV because we're walking around no flashlights in the dark, just chilling. <laughs> I, just ima I just imagine I'm going around like Alan Wake style with a uh, heavy pistol in one hand uh, and just... like supporting supporting the weight of it with uh my other hand carrying the flashlight yeah yeah just crossing mm. your hands under like your your flashlight hand is like holding mm. the flashlight backwards essentially while you've got the pistol out in your other yeah right yep. yeah yep 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 I'm, I'm making do making do yeah no totally it's definitely achievable um oh hey so, you know what mm. i could turn on my light tattoos you could yeah <laughs> So yeah, and because your light tattoos, what what color are they again? Uh, they're just gold. They're just gold, yeah. So yeah, you just see that as like you guys get out of the car and start walking down into the ruined cityscape that is the hot zone. Um, you just see Peacock as he kind of steps out of the car into the night. Um, his body just lights up with these streaks of gold uh, forming images across his skin um as you all kind of start moving forward into the uh into the the night and so um with that before, said before we go he turns on his tattoos i'm gonna put both hands of mine on his shoulders and look at him dead in the face and go do you want to get fucking shot out here at <laughs> all I paid good money for these. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to have to pay good money to drag your out of the fucking hot zones or turn that shit off. Uh, <laughs> Whatever you want, Chumba. <laughs> you're the boss, boss. <laughs> you're, hey, you're the one with the sniper rifle, not me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, right, so. I'm a demo, a little. <laughs> beautiful. Um. So, um, that said, uh, Celsius, uh, let me hold up real quick. Because again, I'll, I'll, uh, plan this as I need to. Um, Celsius and blue, if I could get perception checks from you guys, since you can see in the dark unhindered. Hell yeah, Celsius. Holy shit. Good roll. <laughs> And it's blue. natural always on point with the that's why i have celsius here he keeps lookout for me yeah right um I am, I am dog, okay that's what i do so celsius <laughs> you see as you kind of are approaching the medical center um plaza you see a couple of uh heat signatures that are moving around in the rubble um and they don't well, let me let me have this happen because I assume all of you are trying to move with a certain degree of like a certain degree of, of uh, stealth or, you know, at the very least, like a mind toward like not being too loud. Um, yeah, we're creeping and scouting. At least I am. Right. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So could I have all three of you roll stealth checks for me, please? Right. I already burned my one, so this can only go well. Yeah, that's that's pretty fucking good. Spree! I like oh. the dice. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know if uh, cause that I don't know if those are necessarily like Nyla's chosen dice or not. Does, did you go in and uh, adjust your? Uh... Oh right, I can do that. Hang on. You can, yeah. Okay, that's what I was like about Yay. to say. I'm like, I don't think he actually modified those. I think those are just his, uh, his default based on his user color. Hang on, we'll fix this. Yeah, um. you you can you can tweak them. Uh, I should have mentioned that because I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. You're you're brand new to this server because even though you played with me before, that doesn't carry that over. Um, yeah. So, um, with that said, so we have a 14, a 16, and a 21. So that's honestly not bad. Um, so allow me to roll this. We're gonna roll a perception check. Hell yeah. There it is. Nope, 
none of them notice you guys. So you guys move in, uh, like really fucking quiet, below notice. Um, so even though these scabs are kind of like roaming around on the edges of your vision, um, Celsius, you you notice them far enough away, and the three of you stay quiet enough that uh, they don't immediately start like coming for you or anything. Um, so it's at this point, I imagine, Celsius, that you're going to point these out to the, the other two um, so that everyone can kind of move quietly. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll definitely sort of just uh, motion with the nod and a quick point over to the directions where I see them. Beautiful. Whoops. All right. So, yeah, you guys proceed pretty much unhindered then. Um, as you arrive at the medical center... There is uh, the unfortunate uh, barring, it seems, of one of the doors there that uh, is a little more than uh, just rubble piled against it as a sort of makeshift barricade. Um, it looks like whoever uh, frequents this place wanted it to be difficult to access unless you were like part of the right group. Because there's a fairly, uh, it, it doesn't look like it's rusted through like a lot of the metal in the zone. Um, but there's a chain wrapped around, uh, what would be kind of like the bars of the, uh, handles on the doors, um, to let you in. So to get through this quietly would require either a lock picking check to pick the lock on the door itself, uh, or, uh, you could use a basic tech to, uh, uh, do a you know, lock picking lawyer and unlock the master lock for the master lock kind of thing. You, so, you know I gotta go for the LPL meme. Yeah. <laughs> so, so go ahead. I was gonna say while you're doing that, I'm gonna scout the perimeter for any of the entrances. This is the lock picking lawyer. I'm outside of your house. <laughs> <laughs> um while, yeah, while that's happening, I'm actually going to activate um, the scanner. If okay. I'm allowed to do that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Go ahead and roll that. Come on, baby. Hey. Okay. So, I mean, re remember that net running, uh, net running checks are always a little lower anyway. So, a seven, seven's not terrible. Um, you're picking up a very small return from just inside the building. So, while you mm. can't access it until you guys are inside, you do know that there's some kind of access point, uh, probably on just the other side of the door here. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hope this comes off easy then. Oh, well, that's oh, really... that was fab. My bad. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Field. Basic tag. Oh, no. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Ooh. Yeah, so you try to you you try to unlock the master lock with a master lock. This is in fact not a master lock, so it's not total shit. Um, so you uh, you unfortunately uh, do not succeed at breaking into this thing. Um, do you want to try lock picking instead? Yes, I do, and that would just be pick lock. Pick lock check, and that does that does not have field expertise, right? It might actually, because it is a technique skill. Let's see, field expertise, pick lock. It does. That's better. Okay. Yeah. So, um, the lock here uh, is somewhat stubborn. Um, so it doesn't immediately give way. Um, even with that check, uh, and Celsius, I imagine you've been keeping eyes on the scabs around you this, this whole time, right? Yeah. I've sort of been scouting the outside of the building too, just to make sure if I can find another way in without having to deal with this lock. Sure. Um, so there are a couple of, uh, like small windows and things that you could use that would maybe let you inside, but you know that. Um, most of these look like they're either locked on the inside, so you'd have to shatter them. And, uh, that comes with its own problems. Several of these are double paned. They're not exactly what we call easy to break through. Um, 
and uh, on the other side of things, um, you know, like most of the other parts of the building are, are pretty collapsed in. So like, you feel pretty confident that this is the best way in if you're not alerting the scabs. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll, then I'll just uh, I'll head back around and make sure nothing's uh, coming up to us to say hello. Yeah, so as you guys have kind of been rattling on the uh, the door here, um, you do see one of the scabs kind of circling back uh, and getting a little too close for your comfort, potentially, to your group. Um, they, they're down the street a little way, so you haven't been found yet, but they are definitely there. And uh, if they've got the sort of senses you do that you feel like this is potentially going to be a problem if they're allowed to get much closer. Can I... Yeah. Oh, go ahead. But, I was just going to say, can we dig in? They can dig into more cover since we see this guy kind of patrolling by our spot. Can we try and lay into the shadows and, like, really hide ourselves? Um, yes, you can. Um, given that you have the cover of darkness here and um, this guy, while they may have some kind of enhanced sense, because you already have like the potential of, yeah, like using the area around you. Um, I'd be willing to give you all a, uh, a plus two if you want to roll stealth to try and hide where you are. Can I take that plus two to stealth, but instead I want to try to actually get closer to him and literally I want to pop out in front of him and go, hi, how you doing? Uh, yeah, you know what? Sure, why not? Because you do have the advantage of seeing him before he sees you here. Cool. <laughs> you said plus two? Uh, yes, plus two. I'm just going to let Celsius do this thing, but I'm just going to watch him. Yeah, just are you just going to try and like hide out with uh, Blue? Yeah, hide out with Blue, make sure that Celsius is still in range. It's uh, still yeah. in sight, so I, in case he gets into trouble. Beautiful. So yeah, go ahead and roll a self check with a plus two then as well. Hell yeah, we're digging in. Hell yeah. Jeez, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's beautiful. Um, oh, and that was without your uh, plus two being applied there, it looks like. Oh, uh, uh, 22. <laughs> yeah, 22, okay, beautiful. <laughs> Just so I know the number. Um, so just for, for future reference, just because I know you have a little less experience mm -hmm. with Foundry, um, mm -hmm. there's a section when you're pulling up with that roll confirm, and it says additional yeah. mods. You just have to change that to two. Yeah, just to skip my mind, but yeah. yeah. No, you're you're fine, yeah. Just, just a reminder. Um, but yeah, so you guys are all really fucking good at hiding here. So let me roll... Uh, Again, this guy's perception, just to make sure that, yeah, no, he's not seeing you guys at all. So, um, so yeah, you, the two of you, Blue and Peacock, pull back into the shadows, kind of wait for this guy to either pass or Celsius, as you approach, uh, you get within, like, yeah, striking range of this guy, basically. So I'm I'm just gonna pop the shotgun out of my arm, walk out in front of him, and just put my finger to my lips and go, Shh, and then like scoot him away with my other hand and tell him to leave. Mmm. Okay. So, are you trying to like grab him at all when you're like pushing him back, or are you just like kind of stiff arming, like just pushing him back that way? No, no. So I'm I'm gonna pop out right in front of him with my shotgun out of my arm and literally tell him shush and fucking wave him off. Gotcha. Um, roll me a face down check there, and I'll give you a situational plus. I'll give you a plus three, honestly, because he did not see you coming at all. Um, and you've got like much better equipment than he does, and he can probably tell that. My man's just got jump scared. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I got jump scared. Nope, he got jump scared. Um. <laughs> That's why a one isn't the end of it. That's beautiful. So, this guy just, woof, 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 woof. yeah, 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 woof, 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 woof. we're good, you. And he just like turns around and starts walking the other way. Um, cool. Yeah. So, uh, with that, yeah, you successfully avoid that 
the two of you uh, can, well, Peacock, you can hear this guy kind of stammering and then like walk in the other direction. Um, Blue, you can see this guy, yeah, starting to walk and then eventually kind of start like jogging away, like as soon as he's <laughs> a decent, uh, a decent distance from Celsius. So uh, yeah. you can go back to reattempting this now. Um, so at this point, you tried to pick the lock, you tried to unlock the lock with the lock. Um, so how do we want to try and approach this with that, uh, with those avenues having been attempted? Um, could I help Blue, maybe? How do you want to try and help him? Uh, uh I have, uh, a 12 in basic tag. Uh, would that work? Or yeah, I, I mean, have, I... You could kind mm -hmm. of hold your flashlight up and try to make the attempt at, at smacking the lock open yourself if you want to try that. Okay. Uh, what kind of roll would I make? Just basic tech. Basic tech, so... Yep. Oh, yeah. So, Blue, you... And you you firmly believe you softened it up for him. Like, that's the reason he can do this. And you, despite all of your training in tech and all of the things you do with that on a daily basis, you just watch as, uh, as Peacock, like, takes his flashlight up, examines the lock briefly, and then just, like taps it firmly in just the right spot and just springs open <laughs> with the back of the light. So um, with that, yeah, the, the lock is open. The chain uh, is loosened and you can just kind of pull it off and enter into the hospital here. Yeah, it was probably just one tumbler. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not complicated. So, mm -hmm. um, so with that said, you guys uh, walk into the hospital. Um, so the hospital is, as you might expect, um, not in great, a great state here. And actually this is, this music's a little intense for what I, the, the vibe is right now. So I was about to say, did we just get ambushed walking into this hospital? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I had the battle track on because it's a little more tense. Uh, but, but then it decided to play Abaddon Wave and Abaddon Wave is not the vibe right now. Um, <laughs> so... Um, scary than a hospital. Yeah, this, this neon shade, much better, much better vibe. Um, so with you guys walking in, uh, surprisingly, maybe to some of you, uh, maybe all of you, the lights inside the, the hospital are not off. Uh, there are several flickering bulbs that still remain on, um, and as you enter the building, you hear the low hum of what you can only assume is some kind of generator deep in the, uh, probably the sub floors of the building, um, still supplying electricity up. Um, so with that said, um, you all can roll me whatever kind of like environmental checks you want to roll. Um, I know, uh, at least two of you, it's probably perception. And I know, uh, Nyla, you might want to roll scanner again now that you're inside. I would love to. Yeah. And that's better. Ooh, well, that's much better. So, um, so blue, you don't notice quite as much, but what you see is you kind of look around, um, the hospital is in a kind of a varying state of decay, depending on the direction you're looking in or the room you're looking at. Um, it looks as though, you know, as you might expect, the place was pretty rapidly uh, abandoned. Um, though on the ground, you do see the uh, slight shapes of footprints in the dust. Um, and your vision with that radiation detector installed um, gives off this slight, uh, like yellow glow almost in certain sections of the floor where you can see larger piles of this dust has accumulated. Um, and you recognize, yeah, there's definitely not, uh, radioactive, uh, or it's not absent radiation. You, you have like, there's plenty of radioactive little hot spots kind of in the dust and such around the, the uh, base of the hospital here. Um, 
Thankfully, because you and Celsius both have your radiation detectors, you'll be able to avoid that. Celsius, you notice that there is a newer than the building uh, observation camera above what would normally be like the reception uh, desk. And uh, it appears, as far as you can tell, as you kind of flip between your uh, modes of vision, like it is still active, given the infrared, you can see it reflecting. Um, and so Peacock, this is quickly confirmed when you can see that the camera is giving you off a solid ping. It is connected Ooh. to a net. It appears to be active. I see. Looks like the net architecture is here is still active. I can jack in. It's it's in the hallway, right? Yeah, yeah. This Wait, is this? just in like the entryway where you guys are right now. Looks like this is where I do my thing. Think you could cover me while I jack into the security cam? I think I could do better. Preach. I'd much appreciate. It. All right. And I'm gonna do just that. Beautiful. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring us to a battle map here that we can showcase this. Let me bring us over to the NC Medical Center and let me pull you all in real quick. Celsius. Actually, yeah, be roughly where you guys would be. Peacock. All right, welcome to the hospital. And actually, let me oh. also just ensure that you guys have the proper fog of war here. Um, there we go just so that I'm clear on what you guys can and can't see. Awesome. So you guys have entered this being the hospital. So obviously, as you can see on the map here, there's all kinds of things kind of just strewn around some, uh, you know, cobbled together lights and things flickering. Um, the camera in this case would be over here. You're pretty much uh, right okay. next to it. Um, gotcha. So yeah, Nyla, you jack in and the first thing in front of you is a password. Um, the environment around you is that kind of like sterile, uh, white, uh, kind of, it's, it's like you almost think for a second it's aesthetic, but then you just kind of realize this is one of those like gray box, like they didn't bother customizing their net or their icons kind of uh, thing. So yeah, it's that sterile like gray off white uh, that you get when you just start kind of loading a default network. It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's got no <laughs> character whatsoever. It's very, very boring. Uh, but you imagine if this wasn't the hospitals and it's indeed a scav net of some kind, that makes sense because it's a scav net. Yeah, that would uh, that would fit. That would. But um, but yeah, before I attempt to crack his password, I'd like to res up a couple programs um, just in case. I'd like to uh, use my first two net actions to res up um, armor and speedy. Okay, yep. So those are now resed up. And uh, <clears throat> all right, this is where I crack my knuckles and attempt this back door. Beautiful. Ah, not bad. Yeah, that's an easy crack. Yep, so the, the password before you uh, disintegrates this kind of like very boring uh that like gray clay like uh kind of texture just kind of dissolves away the password is uh had to be clear yeah it's a nice warm-up yeah so that's right. that's three net actions so um celsius and blue as we kind of come to you both here what are you guys looking to do as we kind of begin things i don't want to move too far but um I will, uh, whoop. the game okay. is, still, I will... the game is still paused. So that's probably why. Oh, I see. Um, yeah. 
I wouldn't mind checking out the door just uh, just above me here and seeing if the, I can peek peek open and see what's going on in there. Beautiful. Yep. So let me uh, go ahead. What's up? Am I actually? I actually have a question. Um, could I? Is this like a little alcove? Uh, not really. It's kind of just like one of those structural like points where it like juts out because there's like a support beam mm -hmm. or something there. It's not I really see. cover of any kind. I got you. All right. Yep. Um. Yeah, then I'll. Here's what I'll do. I'll um. Like, unless I you mean this move... like this hallway, but this hallway is a hallway, so it's. Yeah. If I were to move like right here, would I still be within range to stay jacked in? Yes. Uh, I just like to move, uh, one step over here behind this corner. It is unpaused. You can uh use WASD to move your token. Mucho appreciate. The... Yeah. I'm just gonna stand on his other side and stay covering the net runner. Beautiful. So, Cody, uh, go ahead and, uh, so you want to open the door there? Yeah, I want to I want to open it slowly and sort of peek in and see what's going on. Beautiful. Uh, go ahead and, uh, click the door open. All right. Yep. So you see, you can see what you see there, basically. Um... Mm -hmm. So inside, you just see like a ruined kind of what maybe was once an office. Uh, very much not anything impressive. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to just keep sweeping uh, down the, the hall if I can and checking all the doors. Sure. Yep. Are you going to leave it open or, or shut, by the way? Leave it open to know I've been there. Okay, cool. And hello. Yep. Uh, and this one, it looks like it was maybe an old, uh, another old, like, uh, office of some kind. Uh, or maybe, like, a smaller lab. You're not really sure. It looks like there's some old, like, computers here and here. Some desks with stuff. At the very least, it looks like maybe some scabs have recently been using it as a place to kind of, like, cobble together their goods. All right. Um, I'll show for now. I don't think opening a door at the end of the hall is typically the way to go. So I'll just hang out with them until they get some more uh, actions done on the net. Beautiful. All right. So with that, Peacock, um, the way ahead of you is clear. What would you like to do with your next three net actions? Oops, that was muted. Um, I will... Um, use one net action and I will use Pathfinder. Okay, go ahead and roll it. Um, oh, that's a great Pathfinder. Know. Hell yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can stare all the way to the bottom of the net with that. Um, Hell yeah. So, you've got uh, the following you've got <laughs> uh, the next level below you, so level two, is two black ice. The level below that is two more black guys. The level below oh, that is a password. The level below that is a control node, and the level below that at the bottom is a control node. Gotcha. All right. Well, I I don't think we're pressed for time, so I think I can go take care of these black guys. Um, Beautiful. For the time being. Um, so yeah, I will descend uh, one floor down. Beautiful. So you're presented with a uh, small black bird that upon seeing you immediately dives at you along with a small glowing sprite of uh, what looks to be some kind of cold fire um, that you recognize to be a wisp. So mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and roll me a speed check and I'll roll their speeds as well. Here real quick. Do I have to make two because there's two of them? Uh, you roll one and then they both compare to it. Got you. So that's a 13. And then where are my black guys? White Penta programs. Oh, it was just dumb and it didn't take me to the right place. That's my problem. Okay. Here we go. Awesome. So Raven 
has a speed of I put second column, so speed is not that high. Yeah, so Raven does not hit. <clears throat> and then the Wisp uh, is actually, it's the same roll. It does not hit. So you're good. They have, nice. to beat, they have to beat your speed in order to hit you. So you dodge both of their attacks as they come for you. Um, what would you like to do next? Because you have two net actions remaining. I would like to um, <laughs> res sword. Okay. And I would like to attack um, the Wisp. The Wisp. Okay, cool. So I'll roll the Wisp's defense, which I believe is the last one before it's res. Yes, it is. The Wisp's defense is pretty small. So go ahead and roll me your sword's attack. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that sword hits. Go ahead and roll me the damage uh, against a black ice. So when you roll damage on that, it should come up with the dialogue asking you if it's a black ice or non-black ice. Oh, uh, yeah. So you uh, do you do hit it and you do some damage yeah. to it, but yeah, that's it's very unfortunate how low that is. Barnacles. <laughs> so <laughs> one one more net action for the round. Yeah. So I will um I'll go ahead and and um zap that wisp. Hit. Uh. Okay. And then the wisp will roll its defense. Baby. Uh, you unfortunately do miss. Um, ah, big sad. Yeah, beat beat does not or uh, meat does not beat unfortunately. So yeah. uh, with that, um, yeah, it dodges your zap attempt, and we go on. So with this said, um, so Celsius and uh, Blue, could you both roll me perception, please? Fork and Otter had to go check on the other half. Let me get back to the computer. Yeah, you're totally good. You're totally good. Okay. I'm sorry if you guys hear any background noise. I was running my dishwasher. I didn't realize it was going to be this freaking loud. <laughs> I can't hear anything. Okay, good. Because so I can. Yeah, like it just sounds like the typical white noise that I might hear through someone's mic. So it's really not that bad. Okay, beautiful. Um, so, oh wait, I rolled the wrong thing. Let's see, where's the uh, stone? Ah, no. Okay. That one really fumbled the stone. Nope, nope, definitely not. Definitely he not. Did. Yikes. <laughs> so, you hear in this room over here the sudden sound of like it sounds like like the metallic sound you get when you uh hear something crawling around the ductwork which is exactly what you're hearing uh and all of a sudden you hear this clamor of just like a grate falling through the ceiling sure fuck and then this guy just drops <laughs> into the room uh and uh you just hear this you hear this woman behind him just say Jesus jams! What the fuck are you doing down there? And uh yeah, she descends a little more gracefully. So, so I, I have line of sight of these people. Can I just fucking aim my assault rifle and walk up to the door? <laughs> uh yes, you may, because these guys definitely know you're there. Um I'm not going to advance, but I would also like to uh just kind of ready my uh Faisal Stead are alive. And what name did they shout? Because I'm about to use their names against them. <laughs> yeah, so Jans was the one that just dropped here. Um, and then the one behind it, we haven't gotten her name yet. But, but Jans right. is at least this one, because he's the one who, who's like laying on top of rubble from a grate falling through. So I'm just going to point the assault rifle at Jans and go, nice fucking going, Jans. Get the fuck up and put your hands in the air. Ooh, boy. Roll me face down against these guys.
All right. So they they both for now. Um, so Jans is scrambling. No, no, fuck, fuck you, fuck you. This is our place. And he immediately is like reaching toward like his belt and trying to scramble up all at the same time, reaching for like what you see on his belt is like a shitty polymer one shot pistol. Like it's not impressive, uh, but it can shoot guns or it shoots up bullets rather. So you, you know, it, it shoots guns. Yeah, it's a physics gun from fucking Gary's mod. Um, <laughs> um, so <laughs> Prepper Jack, scabs are like Jawas, easily scared, but deadly in numbers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, this is uh, with that. Um, I'm going to prep all of your combat states. Um, so these two are going to roll their uh, initiative with a minus two, thanks to you, Celsius. Um, but please, everyone, roll me initiative. Oh, boy. Uh, initiative. Do you remember how to do that, Nyla? If not, I can tell you. Uh, oh, I remember. I remember, actually. I rem there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful job. Okay, awesome. Um, and then each of these guys are going to be two less because it doesn't give me a confirm on this. Yeah, I got there eventually. <laughs> yeah, you're totally good. All right, awesome. All right, cool. So we begin the combat. Um, so Celsius, you got the jump, unsurprisingly, on these two. Um, so go ahead and take your action as you would in combat. So yeah, I'll just I'll uh, hold the assault rifle down to my uh, with my non shotgun arm and pull the shotgun out and just spray them with an incendiary around. Since I'm use uh, I don't use slugs. I use, use the shells. Other. Yeah. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah! Go ahead, um, roll me the uh, check on that. All right. Be to DB thirteen and hit them both. My fight menu. Come on. Yeah, easy, easy. Go ahead and roll me the damage on that. Oh, that's pretty good. Holy shit. So yeah, both of these guys then uh, immediately get slammed with a just uh, a flurry of uh, phosphorus rounds, essentially phosphorus pellets as their uh, clothes catch on fire. So... Uh, you just hear, fuck, fuck, oh God, oh God. And yeah, these guys are, they, they're hurting. Uh, Peacock, we now come to you and the black guy's attacking you. Um, oh boy. So, so go ahead and roll me a uh, defense and we will have you roll this per attack because you're dodging each one independently. Ooh. Okay. So the first one is going to be the Raven. The Raven's attack is four. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, so he... The Raven misses. Uh, and then the Wisp's attack is the same, so... And fortunately, the Wisp will hit. So the Wisp uh, does a D6 straight to your brain, and it will lower your net actions this round by one. Uh, okay. So you will take... Because you have armor, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. So you don't actually take damage. You will still lose a net action. Um, that, so which you hurts. have two net actions this round. Yeah. So, uh, which is fine. Um, I If I didn't lose that net action, I honestly probably would have tried to just slide past the next level and write a virus uh, once I'm past the password. But I don't well, think that's you, gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, virus is at the very. Remember, it's uh, bottom of the network. You, you I thought you bottom. said I, I. I may have misunderstood. I thought you said I saw it to the bottom. You saw to the bottom, but you have to actually reach the bottom before you can actually write the virus. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like but you yeah. have the dungeon map, but before you get to that bottom point of the dungeon, you you can't do that yet. Yeah. I would... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I meant like go through the password, then get to the bottom, and then. Oh. Uh... The yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I mean, for right now, I, I just need one net action for sword. So, uh, yep. I'm gonna attack the uh, wisp with the sword because losing a net action hurts a lot. Oh um, yeah. And uh, could I actually? Nah, actually, I'm 
I'm not gonna use luck. Um, okay. That's better. I mean, that's pretty good. Um... Oh, come on. Doesn't matter. Oh. Yeah, sadly, it does duck that. Damn. All right, well, uh, I'll use a zap on the wisp as, as well then. Okay. If you didn't notice, they didn't spend money on the aesthetics, but they had decent black eyes. I mean, these are these are really cheap black guys. These black guys are actually like bottom of the barrel. Um, so, because I think each of these is like 50 eddies. They're, they're like about the cheapest you get. Um, so yeah, you do hit with the zap. You do a little more damage to the uh, wisp. So we are looking mm -hmm. currently at... Do, 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 I need sorry. to chip it a little more. Four. Okay. That was four and then four. Okay, cool. Just so I know we're at with the wisp. All right. Um, so yeah, with that, uh, do you want, I imagine you're not moving at all from your current position. Uh, no. Okay. Blue, we come to your, uh, turn. Um, just gonna one, two, three, four, just said I'm stepped in past me. So what the fuck's going on in here? And shoot at this guy in the front. You got it. Yeah, so James is about to catch lead. Let's uh, see what your attack check looks like. Uh, to add the plus one to the weapon just on it, you go to settings, uh, where is it? Uh, attack modifier. I just changed yes. that from a zero to a one, right? Yep, 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 yeah, because you made that excellent quality, right? Yep. Yep. Beautiful. I put the plus one in, there we go. Plus one to attack is now in its tags. Cool. Beautiful, yep. Yeah, that's an instant hit, because this guy can't dodge bullets. So go ahead and roll me the damage on that. Oh, no. This guy's about to get bullied. No. Okay. Uh, pretty sure this guy is... Yeah, so you just blast him with the shotgun. You just... Oh! oh, oh, oh. F -f -f fuck! F -f -f fuck! Alice, Alice, I think I'm gonna die. And yeah, this guy is uh, freaking out. He is not taking this well. Uh, did you have any movement left that you wanted to use, Blue? No, he's just gonna kind of stand there, kind of confused, looking around, like what the hell's going on in here? Cause we were just like chilling, having a stealthy net run. These guys literally fell from the sky, so. Yeah, it's kind of funny when you walk into a scab hive, how that works. Um. So with that, um, it's his turn next. So he is going to have to roll us a death save. Rip Bozo, he's dead. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to take his on fire off because it no longer really matters. Uh, and he is dead. Um, beautiful. That's what happens when you fail a stealth check. That is, in fact, <laughs> what happens when you fail a stealth check. Uh, and so this is the, why those light tattoos had to go back off. Yeah, the other... <laughs> it literally would have been us earlier. The other scab, Alice, is just gonna, yeah. She's gonna run up to Blue says, You got chance! And she's just gonna pull out a series of claws and just start trying to swipe at you with rippers. Uh, go ahead and roll evasion for me. Let's see what your DV is. DV 20? <laughs> I better broadcast this poor quality rippers. Let me know when one of those hits a wall and breaks. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Well, these aren't poor quality, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm just joking. Uh, roll me another evasion because these are rate of fire too. Mm -hmm. Yep, duck, duck, <laughs> easy. Um, so with that, uh, she will take two damage from being on fire. Um, and then Celsius, we come back to you. Same as the first. Um... Let's repeat that one more time. Shotgun. L plus yeah. ratio plus poor quality rippers plus gunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. True factual. Um, are you moving deeper in so you don't catch blue in this, by the way? Because it's yeah, three I by don't... three for you. I'll, uh... There yeah. we go. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, that that hits. Roll me damage. 
<laughs> oh shit okay <laughs> what crit injury are you now dying of broken ribs very cool so yeah you just slam another round into her chest uh and you just hear the crunch of bone snapping as she just flies against the wall here uh she is uh not doing good she is uh, on the way out just like jane's um so with that um do you want to move anymore celsius i'll walk back out because i'm pretty much done with this bitch she's gonna die beautiful uh peacock we come back to you so now the uh black guys are gonna attack you again so Alrighty. uh go ahead and roll me a defense check against the raven Oh, beautiful. Yeah, you're you're chilling. All right. Raven doesn't catch you. Now for the Wisp. Damn. Rip. All right. So, yeah, the Wisp will catch you again. Rolling uh, uh, D6. Your armor protects your brain, at least. But, yeah, you lose another net action. Mm -hmm. So, you're at two net That's actions. Ah, uh, it hurts more. I'd rather take the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let's go for another sword. That looks pretty good. Um, so let me roll D10 plus two. Come on. Come yeah. on, baby. Easy, oh, easy. Okay. Black Finally. ice damage. Let's see it. Black ice damage. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. That's enough to delete it. So yeah, you derez the wisp with one more stroke of the sword. So now you just have the raven left. You know, more taking away my dead actions. Yep. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna just stab it. It seems like we've got everything kind of taken care of on the, uh, in the meat world, so. Yeah, at least for now, yep. So, yeah, you hit with that. Roll me d6. Beautiful, yep, so you zap the raven. It is not dead, but it is, uh, now wounded. Um, mm -hmm. so beautiful shot remind there. Me, remind me after this to get an excellent quality cyber deck. Very cool. Yeah, you're going to have to hunt for one of those. Blue, uh, we now come to you. Uh, Alice here is uh, hurt pretty bad. Um, what would you like to do? Um, could I prepare with an if then? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, so I'm going to wait to see if she fails her death save. If she just fails it, then I'm going to start looting the bodies and trying to tuck them away in a corner, like half hide them. Sure. Uh, if she succeeds her death roll, well, I'm going to try and make sure she at least fails her next one or go for the coup de grace if I can. Fair. Okay. So for her, make her roller death save. But how does burning damage work when you're in death saves? Um... I don't think it technically does anything once you hit that point. Because right. normally if you take any further damage from like an attack, it does an extra critical injury. But that wouldn't really make sense to do when it's just fire, you know, because a lot of the critical injuries are like you lose limbs and stuff. So Yeah, that's make... why I was curious about it. Like, how does that work? Yeah, like that, that might be a good question to uh, pose to RTG to get them to clarify that. Because I, yeah, I'll be honest, I, I don't know. I don't know what the intent there is. Um, but she fails her death save, so she's, uh, she is dead. Um, her death save would go up by uh, a one, basically, at that point. Um, if, if she took damage while she's already critically wounded. So I think that part of it probably would still stick. I don't know that she'd take the extra critical injury by just putting on fire. Um, but yeah. She is dead. So with that, cool. uh, you can loot. Uh, these guys are, as you might expect, uh, not carrying great stuff. Uh, they've got uh, some very heavy pistol ammo. Um, poor very heavy pistols. And uh, what is now shredded leather armor, basically. Yeah, bag and tag everything that isn't the armor. You guys, screw it. Poor pistols go into the scrap pile. Oh yeah, and uh, disposable cell phones. They each have a disposable cell phone. Oh, do you, you know I'm expanding the collection of cell phones? Yeah. I've already got seven of them, plus two. 
Are we collecting right. phones like Pokemon cards or? <laughs> well, I've already done it in a gig where as a distraction, I like had the phones randomly calling a bunch of numbers from the office upstairs to distract. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and then, uh, oh yeah, and then the pistol is added along with the, uh, the ammo just goes into your ammo drop. So, uh, so that's her, and then him. And then, there you go. That, that, that's, you pull, pull all that shit off of them. Um, you guys do hear some rattling around in the vents again. So, uh, you know, there are probably more in the building. Oh yeah. And they're actually going to start showing up right now. So one of the other rooms next door here, you hear the vent open up. And these two are going to enter initiative at the top here. So, uh, let me see. These guys have moved four. Awesome. So one, two, three, four. This one's going to line up with you, Celsius, and just say, Get out of our fucking house! And uh, this is going to be a DV-15 unless you're rolling evasion on this. Yeah, I'll roll evasion. Let's see. <laughs> the gun jams. Damn. <laughs> so yeah, this, this guy's gun is jammed, so he's effectively stunned. Um... Then his friend here is going to come out. And she's going to take a shot at you as well. Cool. Same thing. She does miss. Okay. But her gun doesn't jam. Uh, so, boop, boop. Uh, Celsius, we're back to you. Uh, this one's going to taste a, a nice piece of piece of lead here uh since i don't want to have to reload my shotgun arm right now okay uh, so you just snap it back in your arm and then level your assault rifle yes sir beautiful there it goes uh yeah that should definitely hit at that yeah that range you're you're good uh roll me and you're aiming at the dude in front yeah okay roll me damage okay yeah that's uh <laughs> He's not dead yet, but he is hurting bad. All right, very cool. Uh, Peacock, the raven comes for you. So, scree indeed. Uh, that is a 10. Uh, I targeted the scab, so unfortunately, you do roll defense against it. The raven does not hit you. Go ahead, and uh, you now have three net actions because the wisp is dead. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to zap the raven. Zap it, okay. Yeah. On the outside, it looks it it really looks like Celsius has it handled. Yep. Uh, the Raven ducks your zap. Uh, so annoying. Go for another zap. Okay. These, these birds, they're why do they make them so fast? <laughs> it, it ducks your attack. <laughs> Oh wait, no it doesn't. No it doesn't, no it doesn't. That's a four, that's oh. a four, I'm so sorry. I was like, I thought, I saw the seven, I'm like, wait a minute, that that's not in, I don't know why. I was why. like, damn, that's a, that's a fast ass bird. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fast ass bird. Uh, yeah, no, so you, you zap it, it is damaged, but it's not dead yet. Oh, come on, okay, fine. Uh, I will use sword. Sword, okay. I was hoping to, I was hoping to save it for the next level in case I could get with the zaps, but eh, it is what it is. All right, beautiful. So that's 12 against nine. Yep, that's a hit. All right. Why I ought to. OK, <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Uh, so I just need to look your zap last. Oh, round. that was wait damage to non black eyes. Uh, it's no, it's damage to black eyes. Oh, so 
It's for Got some it. reason that's miss uh, that's misrepresented on there. So that was nah, whatever. Three, two, nine. It is barely hanging on, uh, and it is not dead yet, unfortunately. Uh, these these ravens, man. Yep, blue. <laughs> we come to you. Well, I guess I should probably do my job and help protect the Netrunner, so I'll step out, pop a shot at front man here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's indeed a hit at that range. Go ahead and roll me damage. <laughs> that's a crit. Holy shit. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Um... So let me see. Did that that did not apply to damage yet? Yeah, there we go. Confirm that. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage. Um, also, you take a critical injury. Uh, pff, that's a broken leg. Okay, very cool. So yeah, you see this guy is like, "Fuck my gun!" And then you just blast him in the leg, and you just hear that crack as you know something snapped there, and just the oh fuck! And it is uh yeah, this is. Not good for him. He is on the way out, probably. Um, so, uh, with that, we come to his turn. Unless you want to move any further, Ghost. No, I'm staying right there. I'm chilling. Beautiful. Death save from this guy. No, he is dead. Good night, Elbozo. Um, very dead. So, yeah, you just watch him just kind of like crumple to the ground and then just blood pools out of his leg is like probably severed something important there um his friend of course does not like this so she is going to approach just a little closer here and then shoot at you with her pistol would you like to evade of course let's set that dv a little bit higher She does miss despite a fairly good roll. Um, so with that, we come to Celsius. And I'm just gonna take a shot at her because now she's the only threat. Beautiful, give me a whoops, hold on, just a moment. Just a little something, okay, cool. Um, there's threats in the room now. Huh? I was like, suddenly there's more threats in the room. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I got more bullets. I'm good. Yeah, so that's a hit. Roll me a damage on that. Didn't realize we were playing scabs in a barrel today. <laughs> yeah, so you blast her. She's not dead yet, but she's she's hurting. Um, with that, Peacock, we come to you. Zap him. Zap him. All right. <laughs> Blow that piece of junk out oh, of the that's Kill a the bird tarot in net running. Let's get it. Yeah, so that is indeed gonna that is going to hit. Roll me the damage. Oh yes, 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 three, six. Jesus, yeah, max damage on Zap. So yeah, you just pointed this fucking bird, a jolt of electricity just slides off your icon's fingers, and this thing just explodes into a billion pixels. Uh the way ahead is clear. You get what you fucking deserve. I'm gonna go to the next level. <laughs> All right, and uh, on the next level, you see another raven and a wisp. Um, so are you fucking getting me? <laughs> <laughs> we call this an ice pit, my dude. Welcome. Be you thankful. Can't do this to me. Be thankful it's those two things, <laughs> man. So let me see. So that's four and four. Okay, cool. So I can just roll this twice. So your speed. Uh, is enough to avoid the first one. Not the second. So this is the wisp that will hit you with this. Why? My dad agents. Scream! <laughs> Thankfully, uh, your armor's holding. So it does no damage. Uh, but yeah, on your next up. round, on, on your next round, you will lose a net action. So you have, you have your two remaining this turn now. That's not the point I'm on. It's about the message. <laughs> Um, I will use, um, yeah, I'll use sword on the wisp. Okay. Oh, please. 
Come on. That's it what does I hit. It does hit. Roll That's me the what damage. I thought. That's pretty good. It's not enough to kill it, but it it you hit it pretty fucking good. No 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 no. We're not done here. <laughs> I know we aren't done here. You have one more. I want to zap it out of the sky. <laughs> Fair enough. Come on. <laughs> ah. No no luck. Barnacles. Oh, Damn. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have White Castle. Let's go. Let's go. Um, so. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately it does duck that uh, zap. Yeah, but uh, Celsius and um, Blue, you can see that Peacock is just starting to get red in the face. He's just <laughs> seething as he's trying to net run, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, let me move, damn it. Mm -hmm. I've paid right. like zero attention to you the entire time. Hmm? So, no, my, Celsius has paid zero attention to you the entire time. He's just letting you do your job. Yeah, that's hurtful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I paid a lot of money to be noticed. Excuse me. <laughs> what do you think the point of the net the light tattoos was? <laughs> All right. That's funny as fuck. Okay, cool. Um, so now we come to blue. Well, I think there's a problem that's still alive and. I there still is. have a couple more shots, so not a problem anymore. You're damn right. Yeah, that's uh, that's a hit. Damage. Oh my god, you guys are rolling so good for your damage on these guns. Holy shit. Yeah. Um. So she's gonna be on her way out here. Um. So would you like to move it all blue? Um. I'm probably going to move up and start preparing to loot. Okay. Yeah, obviously the loot won't be instant this time, but um, with that, um, she's going to roll a death save. Let's see what we got. No, she dead. She's gone. All right. So now we do have a moment here before further reinforcements arrive. Um, so, that said, Celsius, do you want to do anything this initiative round? Yeah, um, it's, I guess technically I still have only move my move, but... Uh, you do. One, you can run two, to get double move. Oh, fuck. I gotta double check my move. I always forget. I think it's... Oh, it's six. Cool, I can move a little more than I thought. And I'm just gonna get over to the door beautiful. and just be ready beautiful beautiful peacock um the wisp is sadly still alive sadly <laughs> so the raven's attacking you first roll me defense oopsie in my lane. Oh you hit no. Fuck. Uh, uh so Ravens have a fun thing where yeah, they they, they derez a defender when they hit. Mm -hmm. So your yeah. armor's derezzed instantly. Uh it's not destroyed, it'll just take two net actions to put it back up. Because you have to uh, shut it down and then relaunch it basically. Yeah, so I would deactivate the program. Yeah, if if you want to, but it takes a net action to deactivate and then a net action to activate it. So, mm -hmm. um, but as and such, th this damage is going to come straight to your brain. Fuck. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, then we've got the matter of... And that one will hit you. So, um... Damn. So first and foremost, let me reduce your HP from the Raven's attack. Mm -hmm. And now let me uh, hit you with the same damage for the Wisp. They chose violence. Shit. Uh, yeah, so this is where things start turning a little bit. So you're down to two net mm -hmm. actions on your next turn. You have two net actions. What would you like to do? Yep. I would like to take my first net action to re-res armor. Mm. In order to res armor... Cause... 
you have to spend two net actions because you have to deactivate it because it's oh. still it's still running. It just hobbled to the point of ineffectiveness. I see. I mm -hmm. didn't know that bit. Okay. Um. Okay, then I'm. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to zap the wisp. Okay. So roll me your hit check on that. Just not rolling hot tonight. It's not my night. Well, that one hit, so it's okay. That's okay. We take those. And I believe if my calculations are right. I think that's a total of 16. Yes, so that is a kill. So the wisp is gone. Fucking get out of here. Yep. Wisp is gone, Raven's still up, full health. Yep, and then for the Raven, I will roll a sword attack. Oh, that is yikes. It just wasn't meant to be. Let's see. Oh yeah, no, it was not meant to be. Holy shit. It was, yeah, it's just, it's one of those nights. Yep, that is. So it's okay, you, you've crashed yeah. one of them. I crashed the important. Yeah. I will take that. Blue. Would you like to do well you want to loot, right? Um, actually thinking about that. I doubt I'm strong enough to grab both of them and drag them as dead weight, right? Right, but you could do one of them. Alright, then yeah. I'm gonna prioritize dragging this one closest to me into the room. So one, two, three, four, five. Or actually, I'll just do five there. Add her to the pile. Over here or in the middle? There. There, okay. In seconds. Or eight would have been back here. Beautiful. All right. So, no, you don't hear any like rattling in the. Uh, well, I won't say that. You do hear rattling in the vents, but no, none of them seem to emerge from any of these rooms. So Celsius, we come to you now. Okay, well now that I think they, I'm pretty sure we they know we're here, uh, I will open this door at the end of the hall and see what's inside. It's a hall. Oh boy. Oh yeah, you oh, thought boy. this was gonna be a small map. I'm sorry, no, this is, this is a big map. I expect it up, not not out. Hmm. Yeah, no. So yeah, I got a few more moves here. So it's so about two, three, four, five, six. That's about as far as I can go. Beautiful. All right. Peacock, the Raven's attacking you. Roll me defense. Oh, can I roll my, my shotgun as my action? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Beautiful. Yep, that is indeed a uh, that is a miss on the Ravens part. So you're All good. Right, yes. You sack of binary bits. You so, yeah. threw the day you were programmed. <laughs> <laughs> so this this round I believe you have uh, I two, do too. two net actions because the wisp did hit you last round, so Yuppers. Die <laughs> Have at you. Yep, that thing's hit. Go ahead and roll me the uh, damage on that. Oh, you're going to eat it now. Oh, you're going to eat it now. That's an insta kill. <laughs> yep, that kills the raven in one shot. Uh, Good shit. All right. Yep, raven's clear. One of action remains. All right, I descend down and I'm going to crack this here password. Let's see it. Come on. Nine. Yeah, and sadly, Nine. that's not enough to crack the password. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, wow. Cryptography. Next round. Okay. Very cool. Blue. Oh, need to finish the walk and drag the other one back. So one, two to grab, three, four, five, and then I'll just add him to the pile. Beautiful. He's in the pile. Six, seven, eight, and then back to my original spot. And I'm just gonna. No, it was the action to drag. I'll wait till next turn to reload. Beautiful, Celsius. 
All right, time to keep exploring. One, two, three. Open door. Oh, look, a closet. Oh, look, a closet. Four, five, six. Oh, look, another door. Another closet, sort of. Yeah, this one's more of like, uh, it looks like this may have been where, um, like an old uh, dorm or something, like where maybe someone who was a uh, resident at the hospital would have stayed. Mm. All right, I'll chill. I'm good. Beautiful. Peacock. All right. Let's uh, let's go for some of that cryptography. Why don't we? Let's do Give it. That a sh Give that a shot. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, so you're not able to quite figure this one out. Are you shiting me? All right, back door. I, I will spend some luck. Beautiful. Uh, how many luck do you want to spend? Just one. Just one, okay. If I need more, I'm ashamed to Netrunners. Are you freaking kidding me? Welcome to Bruno Nyla. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> This so now to make you feel a little better, uh, this happened to me at Gen Con at James Hutt's table when I was playing ELO. I rolled three crit fails in a row as a netrunner trying to break a password. What? So you're in good company. <laughs> what? Um, so, um, okay, I have one last, I have one last, I have one last try. Can I do electronic security tech? Would that work? for this it, could I try that as a as a adjacent role you could I will say it is going to be a difficult check approaching it through that angle but it is it is possible I will I will try it <laughs> not enough <laughs> I'm sorry mm. oh. <laughs> You're just watching this poor Netrunner bash his head against the fucking wall here. Um, wait, how oh, many how many luck have you spent? You had four luck. I had spent one. Wait, I don't know. I I, I thought we've three. only spent the one, right? We only spent the one. Okay. Yeah. It may have cop. It may have copied your your spent luck over from when I uh, copied your sheet. So I, I'm Maybe. manually I'm manually adjusting that because yeah I think you've only spent hey. the one mark at this point. Hey M, did you know that I'm really dumb? <laughs> you, <laughs> I have worm. <laughs> you want to know the really funny thing? <laughs> at James Hutt's table, I did the same thing. <laughs> After I rolled the crit fails, I realized oh I have worm. <laughs> Why? <laughs> So what you're saying is this is all your fault. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm just saying you and I make the same mistakes when we're net running. Uh, I, I know. Get out of my head. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> that is actually fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Blue. Uh, we come to you now, my god. So after sitting there for a minute, just kind of looking back and forth between the room full of bodies and the net runner probably actually bashing his head against the wall at this point oh it's yeah it's, to, it's becoming literal very quickly here one, two and i'm just gonna close that three four and lean up against the wall beautiful and did you want to reload oh yeah thank you for reminding me mm -hmm. You did state intent, so I want to make sure that was respected. Um, beautiful. Celsius, we're back to you. You know what? I don't want that door. I don't want this one. You want that door? I want that one. Ooh. What this? This appears to be some kind of uh, maintenance closet. You see like this sink over here that is uh, got that flickering light on it. You know, it's it's quite beautiful. If by beautiful, oh. I meant whole, wholly uh, horrifying and 
definitely not like from a zombie film or something. Oh, I love uh, hell, hellish janitor closets. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So this is hell. Right. Not only like, yeah, you rolling low on every check here is definitely hell. All right. Well, that's it. I'm gonna wait. Beautiful. All right. Peacock, we're back to you. All right, baby. New, new round, new me. <laughs> new round, new you. Three net actions. All right, I'm gonna res armor. Okay, so that's two net actions or of you not, three. Not arm, not armor. Sorry, worm. I'm worm, so okay. sorry. It's one net action. I'm, yep. I'm sorry. It's the blood rushing to my brain. Um. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, I can think. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And just like that, you guys worm and God, the password just goes down. It's so easy when you use uh, when you use the right tools. God. <laughs> who, who would have thunk? That was that I will say that was so fucking funny. Oh my god. <laughs> hey Em, you wanna know what the funny thing is? I have worm. Oh really? Uh, uh, oh yeah, so the oh, for the all for the clips compilation. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll, I'll make sure to snip that one in, in uh, editing for sure. So uh, that's that's where we come to. So your uh, password is gone. Uh, so below you, you know, you have a control node followed by another control node. Uh, there is another. Did you say there's another password? Wait, could you repeat that again? I'm so sorry. Um, so it's after the password, there are two control nodes. One on one level. There are two control one. nodes. Yep. Oh, thank God. I thought you said that there was a password and then there was a control node and I was about to scream. <laughs> no. Oh, all right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going, so I have two net actions or one net action because I raised a uh, worm. Um, so yeah, I will descend to the next uh, layer and I will use control. Beautiful. Roll me the, the check. That'll work. Um, Hell yeah. So you assume control over the cameras and security system with that check. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, cool. And that's my turn. Blue. I'm just going to ready for guard duty. Well, I can't ready because I'm at the bottom of turn order, but I'm just going to chill and keep a lookout. Beautiful. So, Celsius, before you can come, Blue and Peacock, you hear clamoring in a room down this hallway as uh, someone opens a vent and two more of these bastards enter combat. Beautiful. All right. One, two, three, four. When this one sees you, Peacock, they are going to shoot at you with a, he a very heavy pistol. So, right. uh, Peacock, uh, do you have eight reflex? I do indeed. Okay, beautiful. Uh, roll me evasion then if you'd like. You have a DV13. Beautiful. Oh, they hit you. Holy shit. God damn. Oh, but it doesn't pierce your armor. You're good. Hey. So, yeah. So, uh, Blue, you hear from behind the door, op uh, a door open down this hallway. And out of it, you just hear, hey, we got a fucking wirehead. And they just blast. Uh, and you see a bullet ricochet off the armor jack that... Uh, that peacock is wearing. Um, so one, two, three, four. Uh, and then that will conclude that one's uh, turn. So we now come to you, Celsius. I'm assuming I would hear that bullet. Uh, yeah, you hear it echoing down the hall. Like it's it's like it's on the, the other side. There's no connecting doors on your end of things here. Yeah. So, so you I'll, definitely I'll... hear the gunshot. I'll hear that, and as I hear it, I'll sort of just message Blue over my agent and go, uh, you think you can handle that? <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Beautiful. All right. So with that, 
Um, bear with me a moment while I shuffle these into themselves. Um, awesome. So you're just m moving up onto the intersection here? Yeah, I just, just basically just ran at that point. Beautiful. Peacock, we're on to you. What would you like to do? You have a control over the control node now. Uh, mm -hmm. As a reminder, you can take either your complement of net actions or a meat action on your turn. Mm -hmm. So I can choose either, you know, if I were to use a meat action, I would probably shoot. But uh, blue is right next to me, so I'm going to... It's right next to me. I see past my... Yeah, blue is right next to me. Um, yes. <clears throat> I couldn't see past my character sheet. <laughs> yeah, you're um, good. Uh, I'm going to just uh, ask him, like, uh, can you take care of Big Mean and Ugly over there? More than likely. We'll see. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to just keep doing my thing then. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go uh, to the next level because if I'm on different levels of the net arch um, and I seize control of one on another level, I can still... Um, Use it, correct? Yeah, as long as you have control until someone or something rests control, you contain that until uh, you jack out, basically. Yep. So in the hopes to find something uh, useful uh, to control on the next level, I'm going to go descend a floor and then uh, rest control again. Beautiful. So on this level, you do see the control node. You also see, hunched over it, a small demon that is Ooh. working the controls interesting all right uh, i'm gonna assume that this is in imp so it's probably i could probably just not yeah out, and actually you know? it will try to contest you for your control of the other node so okay i'll roll that real quick here because it only has a interface of two i believe so i would roll uh control correct no, it's so you set its DV when you assume control. I see. So its DV is 10. Its DV, yeah, it has to beat a 10 in order to assume control of this. Ah, uh, so I'd have to roll a 9 or above. Gotcha. Assuming that it's a 2. No, its interface is a 3, so it does uh, roll mm -hmm. slightly higher. Ah, uh, fooey. Ah! And it does rest its control from you. Um, so then, um, seeing as it doesn't have any nodes to activate, it is then going to turn and it's going to zap you with the second net action. So go ahead and roll me defense against this. I thought I was, I got rid of all the pests in here. Good news. Uh, you successfully dodge its attack. Um, yes. so what would you like to do? So I'm going to take, um, Um, I haven't actually used any net actions, have I? No, you have not. Um, so I am going to take two net actions to de-res armor and then re-res. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I don't want no no more zappies. Uh, that doesn't sound fun. Uh, I will, however, use a uh, sword, and this is against non-black guys, correct? Because this is a demon. No, it's a, it, uh, demons are just a special kind of black guys. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. They ride that middle line. I will use sword then. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, well. It rolls defense. I mean... That's happened four times tonight. Do you realize that? <laughs> I do. I do. I understand. <laughs> so... Yeah, unfortunately you miss... So that's your first net act, or well, that's your third. That that's three done, because you got that's armor three. back. Uh, it's just an imp. It's just an imp. It's just all right. Imp. All yeah. right, blue. And so I'm gonna step out. One, two. Let's see if I can handle this. Target. Wound fire. Oh, that's a hit. Yeah. Roll me damage. Tarot. That is tarot. Well, we All did, right. in fact, see. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 
Let's see what we got. So we've already burned through. I just want to make everyone aware right now. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the tarot cards out of the deck already. Let's see what we got tonight. We're speed running this one, you know? <laughs> yeah, look, I, I think this is more than we pulled all of last season, I'll be honest. Um, but let me grab... Playing tarot season. card Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> let me see. All right. So our tarot card tonight is Judgment. So Judgment does the following. Let me find it here. Did I miss it somewhere? Oh, no, there it is. There it is. The victim suffers the crushed fingers critical injury on one of their hands, the dismembered hand critical injury on the other. So you watch it as the blast literally uh, takes the hand holding the gun off in such a manner as to like slam her other hand with the now lost gun. Um, unsurprisingly, she is... Um, she is bleeding profusely. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be, let me add dismembered. Oh, come on. Dismembered hand. And crushed fingers. Yep. So she's, uh, she's going to die. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. She's going to die. There's no saving her at this point. Uh, oh, no, your weapon. Oh, not that card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. All right, cool. Um, so this one, of course, seeing his uh, gang tomb here get just chewed up by you. He's going to pop out and try to blast you with his pistol. Uh, I assume you're rolling evasion on this. Yeah, let's see what his DV is. 24. Yeah, he misses. Jesus. These guys have been rolling pretty high, and you guys have somehow just dodged every shot, even with that. That's insane. All right. Uh, so, yeah, that's his turn. <laughs> um, his friend here is just going to fail her death save straight up. We're going to roll just so it happens. Even on a one, it's a failure. <laughs> She's dead. Unsurprising. Terror victim dies. Celsius, we come to you. One, oops. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I'll just see that and go, oh, you've got it. Yeah, Peacock, imp time. So roll me defense against this thing's attempt to zap you. Oh, baby. All right, let's see what Zap is. Not enough to pierce your armor, so you're good. All right, three net actions. What do you want to do? All right, I'm on the very bottom of the floor, correct? Mm-hmm. So I I do not feel like f with this, with this imp. Can I, how many net actions would it take for me to write a virus to uh, completely deactivate it? Just de deactivate, deactivate the imp. The imp. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. call it. We'll call it three. Uh, the virus check will probably be fairly challenging, but it would be three net actions if you roll it successfully. Okay. Um, I will spend two luck. Bet. Let's see it. You know, though, that's just enough. That is literally what you need to roll. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's go. So you spend. So you immediately just kind of like, yeah, take a deep breath crack your knuckles and then you just start coding this virus for the rest of the next couple seconds and at its conclusion you just see this imp engulfed in fire as it disintegrates into binary dust basically um the imp is deactivated it can bother you no longer that's what i like to hear that's what i like to hear we like that we like that mm -hmm. all right that's my turn i'm satisfied 
Beautiful. Oh, I meant to roll this real quick. Oh, okay. Awesome. Blue. Another one? You fucks are like roaches. Get back in your hidey hole. Welcome to scab hunts. <laughs> All right, hit. that's a hit. Q. Oh, almost another crit. I mean, even then, that's a lot of damage. He's not dead, but he's hurting bad. Uh, do you want to move it all? No, I'm standing proud. Beautiful. This guy's going to try to shoot you. Cool, let's see what his DV is. 19. <laughs> Not bad. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, he's so close. If you hadn't hit him, he literally would have been able to hit that. <laughs> the minus two from his seriously wounded state is what did that. That's insane. Celsius. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of two. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What am I looking at here? Let me back up a little bit. Oh, look, there's a guy there that's alive. Let me mm -hmm. fix that. Um, do, 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 do. I don't know why it does that. I go to the combat menu to click on my character instead of just pressing C and it moves the map to the left like three times. It's super weird. That is weird. Oh yeah, that's a hit. Roll me damage. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Um, so let's see. I think he's probably on death's door now. Back, he's on death's door now. Um, Amazing. Pe Peacock, what would you like to do? I will use one net action to okay. take control of the control node that I'm on the floor I'm currently on. Cool. Yeah, roll me the check. That is successful. Yep. Um, so with. Yeah. This one, you uh, get control of a turret somewhere. Mm -hmm. You're not sure where, because it doesn't have a camera on it. But you know okay. that this says, basically you get turret control, um, and you know that this thing is loaded with sleep darts. Okay. Like, okay, all right. So I don't have control of the control node. Uh, that above not anymore uh, like but did, now you can anymore. go reassume it for its base value you don't have to yeah, be yeah, the yeah. imps value cool cool um but like okay so my question is is since i have control of this turret does it have some sort of camera on it it does not or it does not okay that's cool and that's for the above yep so control. now you have the cameras back um, do you want to activate the cameras to see if you can find which one um, controls the turret? I would absolutely love to. Beautiful. Then allow me to... Oh, yeah, you don't need to roll again for this. This is just a, a oh, net I action don't? that I then tell you, like, yeah, when you activate it. So as you activate, you kind of run through the cameras so that you actually get the feeds. That's why you need to activate it. Um, I see. Okay. <clears throat> so as you activate the, the control node... You start sifting through the cameras um, until, and I'm, I've am i duplicated your token, so you'll be able to see in here. And you're in a room and you see several scabs huddled as one of them is working his way through a corpse on one of these beds. And over <clears throat> here, against the back of the room, you see that distilling rig, that sugar bomb. Uh, do are the uh, cameras like in any ways like do they have some sort of like um, overlay on the on them saying like camera one camera two whatever? yeah so so this would be considered camera five camera five okay so I'm I'm gonna assume that I was connected to camera one uh, yes the so the cam the, the cam one is pretty much what you can see here I can give mm -hmm. you icons on all of the cams throughout the area here yeah, I just want to know if I, if I know exactly where these cameras are. 
I mean, you'll pretty much be able to put it together um, as you kind of start sifting through them. Mm -hmm. So gotcha. let me, yeah, because I've got, so that's considered cam two, the one I've just placed you on. Cool. Uh, cam three. All right. And then cam four. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> So all awesome. of these, I'm just going to mark because these are just observers for now. So I'm just mm -hmm. going to list them with that targeted state. For sure. And so, yeah, once you <laughs> are disconnected, you'll be able, I'll just delete all those tokens. Right. Yep. They're my shadow clones. Pretty much. <laughs> yep. So blue, uh, we now come to you. Who's just going to sigh, kind of sling shotgun down the fix so can you get that door open for me and start moving to start dragging one of these guys yeah sure this this one's still there. bleeding out but Two. yeah yeah i'm grabbing the one that's already dead i'll yeah, come back like, for him he'll be dead by the time they get back and yeah he's just like trying to like choke out words and he just can't as you're grabbing his friend and just dragging them for yeah, and uh, I can stay jacked in while opening the door, correct? Um, I can just... He's he's good. He can just kind of throw it over into the room. Yeah. Yeah, he, or, he's fine. Leave it open. There's another one going. Yeah, I'll be honest. I was so focused on what I was doing. I just, you know, you know, look through my little augmented reality and bam, two bodies. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. Whoa. Crazy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I do. Oh, where is the turret? Uh, did that was I able to see? Yes, it is here. Oh, it's it's in there. Like it's with in the there. with the distillery. Yes. Oh, I think you have to give me control of uh, the tokens. By the way, give you control of um, which tokens? The observers. They shouldn't have to. Uh, I just can't see it through them, unfortunately. So, um, try clicking where I'm indicating right now. Uh, I cannot. I'm sorry. Uh, nothing's Wild. popping up. I can. I see this one. Wild. Okay. Oh, it's the last one I placed. That's why. So oh. here, I can move it around. Okay, that's fine. Um, so the turret is in there with the people? Yes, the turret is in there with the people. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, oh. yeah it's, it's almost like they expected that demon to help them. Oh, baby. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask uh, Blue, like, hey, where, um, where, uh, where Celsius hears gunshots can you just tell him like go in that room that's where the distillery is yeah i mean he, he's in the room with this isn't he the yeah he's, he's right behind right you. above oh, you. i I'm, i can't see it I'm so, i can't see mm. it <laughs> yeah oh. here let me let me consolidate right, back down to one token here for you yeah if you if you just want to bring peacock back in there and just because I, I know I know where everything is. It's, it's, it's all good. Yeah, because um, that's one, two, three, and then. Did I still see it. Like, no, yeah, here. I did. I did see you. I was so I was so focused. Um. Yeah. So <laughs> now can you see inside the room with the? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. So this is the one you're focused on. Yep. So the turret is located here. All right, you little cockroaches. You want to play rough? <laughs> all right. Let's get them. Yeah, let me uh, go ahead and put this in place turret down here so I have a token for it. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a dart gun. So this fires based off your handgun uh, and it okay. fires sleep darts. So each time uh, this one hits, let me pull the ammo up for this thing. Um, for just a moment. No, I didn't want making a living. I wanted the actual night market appendix. There we go. And, and I want to shoot for the one closest to the exits. 
first. Beautiful. Um, so bear with me. Sleep. DV13. Got it. Okay. All righty. So the exit is right here. So uh, this one also seems to be their leader, I should mention. Okay. Yeah, so I definitely want to go for this gentleman right over here. Uh, I don't think I should target... Well, could I move... Can I move my token onto the uh, in place turret and then use my tokens to handgun? Would that work? Um, so you can just use your tokens handgun. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, just roll a handgun check. Um, yeah, there we go. Because then um, what'll happen here is that is indeed a hit. So I will go ahead and roll the dark gun here real quick to. Yeah, there we go. Um, this guy will now need a roll against that with resist drugs and torture. Oh, no, uh -uh. No, so you uh -uh. just you hear that pneumatic thunk of a <laughs> dart getting ejected from this dark gun turret, and all of a sudden you just hear put the oh, and you just see this dude slam face first onto the railing of this bed with the duty scaving. Uh, and he just flattens you, you're, boss, fuck! And uh, yeah, these guys are <laughs> immediately gonna now be aware that uh, you all are here. Of course, <laughs> this guy is unconscious, so I will note that for you. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's. So, so oh, not paralyzed, he the sleepies. All right, beautiful. Um, so you can only activate each control node once per round. So mm -hmm. uh, the dart gun that said, oh, it's rate of fire one. Yeah. So your mm -hmm. rate of fire one gun, you fired it once. It is uh, done for the round. So you have mm -hmm. two more net actions. You can choose what you would like, if anything, to do with them. I will. Hmm. Let me think. If I already wrote a virus, right? Um, so I deactivated that imp, correct? Mm hmm Is it possible for me to stay in there and just destroy it outright? Like, while it's deactivated? Like, de you know it what? completely? I, <clears throat> I uh, apologize. Maybe I misinterpreted what you meant by deactivate, because I assumed you meant destroy. So, um... Oh, okay. I... Because I don't know the book. The book words it weirdly, but um, if if that's if that's your interpretation of it, I'll go with it. Yeah, um, that that's where I was like three net actions at a DV ten is probably enough to just uh, okay, I destroy it. Yeah, I meant more just like kind of paralyze it. Yeah, you know. No, I mean it's. Uh, I mean, I think effectively we, the same thing though, right? More or less, yeah. So it just then, won't come. It won't come back if the uh, net architecture is jacked out of. Cool, cool. Like, um, but can I write another virus? No, it's one per one per uh, net architecture that for mm. netrunner. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, let me really quick read up on. It. Uh, okay. If I were to use cloak, could I? Could I still be in the net architecture and it would just hide whatever I did? Yes. Know? Yes, it would. And I could still stay in it. Yes, you could. Uh, so I'll just I'll just roll cloak just in case, uh, you know, some someone from Biotechnica comes around or something. Okay. You know, you never be too careful these days. Never be too careful. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, cool. Yeah, you've cloaked. Um, anything else on this turn? I'm chilling. <laughs> cool. So these two are going to roll into initiative now. Uh, their boss is unfortunately uh, pre like uh, predisposed here. Um, so this one's going to walk one, two. Um, and they are looking at their boss who is sleeping. And they've decided that they're going to go uh, hunting for whoever's done this. And of course, they're not going to get very far because they only have four move. Uh, well, no, they could run. So uh, one, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four. There we go. They're on the lookout. Um, now this one, who is bleeding out on the floor, who will probably die here. Yes, they I got skipped. Uh, you did not get skipped. Uh, this one uh, was ahead of you in initiative. Oh. Stay. Oh, before. I'm so sorry. No, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. You are. Yeah, right. the ones that were getting rolled into initiative, those ones were like fresh. So, yeah, they get jumped in. But yeah. that was after Peacock. You are. Yes. Go ahead, Blue. I'm sorry. Because I was going to see if I heard all the ruckus of when that dude rung his bell on whatever. Oh, yeah, you did. It's distant because it's like well down the hallway. But you did. Yeah. You're a really thing. Whoa. Boom. And then, yeah just the the taco bell <laughs> then i'm going to reload my shotgun and start wandering off that way one Beautiful. two three four five six seven eight and i'll just stand in the doorway and look around in that room beautiful uh yeah then these two would start moving then it's celsius what would you like to do celsius I'm gonna see Blue sort of heading off that direction and be like, hey, where are you going? I already checked that out. Four, five, six. I'll just stay right there. Okay. Peacock. Uh, I would like to cycle through the cameras and I want to check uh, where they left from that room. Uh, uh, so you have it come up on this cam. Yeah. So. Uh, I can see, um, would I be able to, like, if I wanted to communicate that, this to the other two, like, could I tell them, like, hey, they're coming down, you know, this hallway? Um, <laughs> you know. yeah, I mean, you could probably indicate to them, like, hey, it looks like, uh, they're coming around, like, a corner ahead of you, because you'd probably... Well, I mean, you could also ready your actions so that when you see them come into frame, you can warn them. Okay. Um, yeah. I will do that because I don't think they're out of range of uh, my, uh, of the turret now at this point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I will ready an action. I will uh, let them know, um, like, hey, uh, they're coming around this corner, it looks like. And I'll just, I just want to keep an eye on them. Beautiful. Yeah, blue. Well, I'm going to kind of lower my stance, kind of walk a little bit softer and just be ready to shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So and I'm you... just going to watch right there in case they come around that corner to blast them. Yeah. So, Nyla, you see them walk into frame here. Uh, or you see. Blue walk into frame, so you can let him know, like, hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got like a, I got like a text going. Beautiful. Uh, I'll be like, hey, hey, you're uh, nine o'clock or something. I don't know. Group calls the most powerful thing on the modern battlefield. <laughs> the group, the group TM is the most powerful piece of modern war engineering. Yeah. So you're you're prepping an action to shoot them when they come around the corner. Mm -hmm. Lucky for you, one, two, three. They're around the corner. Hey, howdy there, friend. And uh, look up over my mic. Yeah, that's a hit. Roll me damage. Wow. Mm. Finally, some soft hits. Fine. <laughs> Finally, finally, I don't insta give them. Yeah, so that just slams into her. She's gonna move one closer now and uh, blast you with her pistol. So uh, let's see that evasion roll. Dude, the BB is. Ooh, not gonna be too bad. Ooh, finally something hits someone that's not Peacock. Holy shit. And even then, it's one damage to your armor jack. Holy. Wait a minute. Oh, this oh, shield. shield, shield. Hold up. That's my fault. Yep. I've, I've got it. I just need to not interpose a shield. <laughs> one damage. Jesus. Hey, that tickled. <laughs> she, 
Looks down, scout. looks up, hatred in his eyes. Yeah, the other one's gonna come around and try and do the same thing. You evading? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's get DV set a little bit better on this one. Oh. Oh! 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 <laughs> damn. Oh, damn. All right. Now it gets interesting. Oh, hold on. I did it again. I did it again. <laughs> That's on me. That's on me. Yeah, shields, I'm gonna unequip that until I actually equip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. All right, cool. So blue, uh, that was two hits. Trapdoor is still out. All right, it's at this point that something rather interesting happens. Peacock, <laughs> you notice. Your uh, virtuality starts returning another signal on the net with you. Motherfucker. Yes. Oh. So now, let's start the fun. So this net runner is unimpeded by anything because you've already taken all the defenses out. Motherfucker. So let's roll them into initiative. The good news Damn. is, for now, because again, you're at the bottom and so you've got the whole net arch to yourself. They're pinging the top level right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I leave, doesn't the net, arch, the net arch go back to normal? No, nope. I see. Okay. It, it waits for the last net runner that's on the system to log off before it resets its defenses. Shit. All right. Yep. So with that, Celsius, we come to you. I see some bozos down the hall here that need to be dealt with. So one, two, three, four, five six and let's pop a shot off at this one here yep we already tarot tonight so i'm not doing that but oh well that's a hit roll me damage never say never man it might happen i mean i'll take a crit injury not yeah, for me. That, i mean that's a crit injury so uh yeah so this guy's gonna be hurting bad uh she has crushed fingers jesus christ so yeah you just see her drop her gun as you just blast her hand just fuck oh god yeah this is uh we're on to the the good shit peacock what are you doing now that you're seeing a netrunner ping at the top of your oh, radar you, here you fucker uh thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking real hard can't virus i could really have used that virus god damn it um i don't want her or them to um still thinking about that netrunner he once dealt with um i don't want them to get uh access to that turret so here's what i'm gonna do Mm. I'm gonna hold a net action for sword for as soon as they get on my uh, level and I want to keep control of um, the turret at all co well I they have to contest my control on both nodes so it doesn't matter I they don't need to do specify that. I also remind you that sword is for programs not people I it's it's 2d6 man 2d6 well, it's for programs, not people. Even oh, god damn it! So it's just zap. Fuck. All right. Yeah. Then I'll, I'll save zap then. Zap for that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that new cyber deck, man. <laughs> Blue, we come to you. You need a good old hand hammer. <laughs> yeah. And one more. 
All right. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Um, so this one is bleeding out. Uh, did you want to aim for this one? Oh, yeah. She's already bleeding out, and there's no need. All right. Even that is enough to seriously wound that guy. Holy shit. All right, you moving it all blue? Nah, I'm in a good firing range. Beautiful. All right. So. With that. Uh, we come to this scab. We'll need to roll that save. They're dead. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they're gone. <laughs> now their friend, who's gonna step past their dead body and blast you again. Jeez. <laughs> no way. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, his gun jams. That's I'm gonna take a sniff into all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is not good. That's going in the records. <laughs> That's going in the record. That's going to the archives. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> now the net runner. So the net runner is gonna move down the network. Um. Let me see. They're probably gonna take normal precautions. This means things like resing an armor. And uh, they are going to, yeah, res an armor. That's the only booster or defender they have that they would probably res. And then they're gonna uh, Pathfinder. And of course, see nothing in their way. And they're going to dive straight down because you're still holding on the second to last floor, right? I'm holding on the last floor. The very last floor. Okay. So mm -hmm. remind me, your control check on that node was a 12, I believe, or was it a 10 or Both 12? Were. Both were a 12. Both were 12s. Okay, cool. So this guy then is going to try and wrest control of the cams for me. And does not succeed. But so immediately he recognized like something's not normal. And with that, uh, cause that's yeah, three nut actions. So they're done. Mm -hmm. And with that, um, so Peacock, they don't arrive on your net bubble. So you can't hit the okay. bubble zap. So your prepared action can... fizzles. Okay. Can I? Can I cycle through the cams and try and find them? Or would uh, that take uh, too many net actions? So cycling the cams is one net action. Okay. So that, but that'll be on your turn. Oh, it's not my turn yet. It's not your turn yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was already just I'm saying, sorry, you, prepared, you prepared net action to zap and then. Uh, uh, yeah. I see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. No, you're good. So I'm just gonna set where they are up. Um, so with that, Celsius, we come to you. Yep, uh, Rip Bozo, goodbye. Perhaps I was slightly too confident, but it's enough. Uh, that is definitely enough. Yeah, go ahead and roll me the damage. You know when you're good enough. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Speaking of being good enough, uh, that guy's bleeding out. Um, you moving at all, Cody? Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, hello. There we go. All right. So, Peacock, you wanted to activate the cameras to cycle for the Netrunner? Yep. All right. So, obviously, we're starting with this one. Uh-huh. Then you come back to this one. Again, we just see Snooze and Dude over here. Mm -hmm. Nothing here. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. 
Damn it. Wait, can I see? Can I see uh, uh, Celsius and blue to I mean, the right over there? You can see them. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You can so see them. I, so yeah, they, 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 you could definitely see them and let them know, hey. I'm going to give them directions because I think I can see them because I'm right uh, here in Meat World. Yep. Um, so I'm going to give them directions like, hey, uh, if you take a left, uh, if you take uh, two lefts down that hole, uh, there's a net runner. Beautiful. Do you want to do anything then, else with your net actions this turn? I, I do indeed. I, I'm i going to go and uh, start the two front war. Um, Beautiful. And uh, yeah, give them give a zappy. Yeah, so you uh, encounter this it's a very sterile looking sort of icon, um, mm -hmm. but not in the way that like the environment here is just very like defaulted. It's, you know, textureless. Um, this one you could see is a man, like a shadowy figure wearing a black suit with the Biotechnica logo emblazoned on the lapel. Um, yeah. So guess who's here? <laughs> yeah. So um, you pop up into this guy's vision, but I mean, he hasn't prepped anything for you. So um, you want to, so you see the pulsing uh, barrier around him that you recognize the icon for armor. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, can I take that back? I, I don't want to zap. You haven't declared an action yet. I want to sword the armor. That that's that is something you can do with sword. I so, think I do want to do that. So I'm gonna roll his defense. Now I'm you're thinking with programs. Now you are indeed thinking with programs. Alright, cool. That's a hit. Roll me the damage against a non-black ice target. Not enough to crash the uh, crash the armor. And I have another net action, correct? You do still indeed, because you used one to cycle the cams to find them. And I want to zap the armor. Okay. Uh. It's a hit. Roll me damage. Still not All enough. Right. That's okay. But yeah, you can see the integrity of that armor is starting to fade. So with that, we go to Blue. So Blue, you've been told there's a net runner and where to find him, and he's indicated you down this hallway. Just gonna message back, we'll take care of it. And I'm just gonna kind of nod towards Celsius like we're on the same page. Get a reload of my shotgun in. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And before I run that corner, I want to stop just short. Cool. Scab boy up here, just again, just kill <laughs> And he just is gonna try and uh, stay alive here. He does not, he just <laughs> And he just dies on the spot. Breathes no more. Does the mortal close shuffle, as I like to say it. Um, so that's the enemy net runner. And the enemy net runner is not happy, as you might imagine. Um, so the enemy net runner, of course, is going to uh, res up what you see as like a focused beam of light and throw a deck crash at you. So roll me a defense. Mm -hmm. Right. Fuck he you, bitch. Fails it. So yeah, you just see this beam streak past your icon, and you just hear the ah, fine. And he just grabs a ban hammer and tries to crash that down on your armor. Go ahead and roll me another defense. Holy shit! Better. You dodge that. <laughs> So then he says, fuck you! And he just slams a hellbolt in your direction. 
All right. defense. Oh, and you're expertly dealing with this guy. Yeah, so you're uh, you're in full-blown cyber warfare now. This is awesome. Okay, cool. So we now go to you, Celsius. I'm a little less uh, careful with... I don't, I don't really care if this guy's eating me. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, hi. Yeah. You're right. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I don't know which way he's looking, but I'm looking right at him, ready to shred his armor. Yep. All right. So with that, Peacock, we come to you. All right. Aw, Nepo Baby has a cyber deck. That's so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna go for another sword towards his armor. Okay, very cool. He's gonna roll the defense. That's pretty solid. All right. 14, all right. Defense is... Defense is not Sim enough. Go ahead and roll me the uh, damage through non-black guys. Simply not good enough. And that is enough to crash it. So the black ice, or not the black ice, the program is destroyed, or not destroyed, but uh, it is deactivated or derezzed rather. So it is, oh, cool. uh, so you've taken it down with the first net action. So he's unprotected now. So let's get some zaps going. You got it. His defense is enough to dodge that attack. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go for another one. That one hits. All right. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, this one just arcs forward and slams into his icon. Just, oh, f fuck. <sighs> and uh it's yeah you both are uh cody since you're right there uh you see this guy's uh hardware spark just a little bit as peacock scores a hit um blue we come to you now okay so it's time seeing celsius about to square up with this guy i'm just going to do it here for simplicity but or no, I'll leave it on this side just for simplicity, but I'm peeking out around the corner and yeah. taking a shot at this guy. Yeah, yeah go ahead and roll me the uh, hit check. That's a hit. Roll me damage. Ooh, baby. All right. Yep. So that is damage. Yep. So that does a little something. Now it's the net runner, and you just hear him over the network, and you two even in, in real space hear this. Just fuck, command. I've been compromised. And uh, with that, uh, he is going to go one, two, and force himself uh, to jack out of the network this way. That's one, two, three, four. His move is five. So he's going to be up here. All right, awesome. Celsius. Oh, you aren't getting away that easy. One, two, three, four, five. And you see he's standing up next to a vent that when you were in here last uh, was very much closed. So it looks like he snuck in the same way the scabs did. You know what? Hold on. And being diagonal, am I able to grapple him here? Oh, absolutely, yeah. You're within two meters. Fantastic. Um, Rolling check, please. I'm going to throw two luck into this real quick. That, yeah, let's see it. Yeah, easy. So, yeah, you just... He's trying to crawl back into the fucking vent. And then you just yank his leg down and just grab him. And you just, fuck! Oh, come in! Come in! And it's, uh, he's squirming in your arms. Uh, Peacock, the uh, Netrunner is no longer on the network. He is hopped off. I'd say, and I saw everything through the cameras, I'm sure. If I just take, if I took a net action, I could 
see that happening, right? Um, so see uh, Celsius grappling this guy? It like Celsius going into the room. Yeah, Just, you saw Celsius yeah. go into the room and uh, the the light shows that some kind of scuffle has, is happening in there. I, I mean, it's Celsius. Like, I, I could put yeah. two and two together. <laughs> uh, so I'm going a, I'm to a say my work here is done. My cloak's still active. My cloak yes. check is in place. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and safely jack out. Yep, you safely jack out. So I will delete this token. You're back to your regular body. Maybe. Yeah. That felt good. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna start moseying on over to uh, to where uh, I think I have five moves. Five moves. Uh, yeah. Five. Yep. Moves. Beautiful. Yeah. And that your action was jack out. So awesome. Blue. Well, I guess I should probably one, two, three, four. I'll step into the doorway and just in case, yeah, because he's below me, just in case he does break free, then I'll shoot him. So I'll have my action ready for that. Beautiful. So he will try to break your grapple, Celsius. Go and roll me a uh, brawling check. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. That is, oh my God. <laughs> I, he can't break those cuffs. Oh, man. Yeah, so he ain't going nowhere. So, Blue, I'm sorry to say your, your prepped action is going to go to waste here. Um, so, Celsius, what would you like to do? It's your turn again. I'm going to drag his sorry ass out of the room. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, you can drag him with you uh, along your movement. Or, you know, just hold on. I got to. Actually, you know what? Let's go this way. A nice secluded hallway over here. Yep. So you just drag him with you. Just, oh, 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 where are you taking me? I'm not gonna say a word to him. I'm just gonna wait for Blue to come over. <laughs> I guess I tell you, I can still choke him out, can't I? You can choke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you choke him really? three times in a row, he goes unconscious. Do it. All right. Beautiful. Uh, so your body is what now? My body is, I believe, seven. Seven. Okay. Well, he was at 35. I don't know why he's now at 33. Um, but, uh, okay. So seven body. Yes, you are seven body. So he goes to 28 health. Uh, he is slowly choking out. Um, cool. So that's your action. Peacock, we come to you. All right. I'm a strut on over. Um, yep. So I'm gonna go. It, I can go diagonal, right? Oh yeah, diagonal. It's two meters in any two, direction. Yep. Three, four, five. Yeah. And uh, you can run what, if I you want to double your movement. Cool, cool. I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you can get five here because you can run diagonal. Okay. There. Yep. Bet, bet. Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh, blue. Well, I think I'm just going to stick with the same plan. I'm just going to keep a shot ready to, in case he does break free. I'm going to hold it like a couple inches behind his head and just see if he gets out of the hole. Yeah, he's going to he is going to try and break free. So uh, the brawling check uh, Celsius. Jeez. Try is the keyword. Yeah, <laughs> he's 10 <laughs> less on a two. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, he's fucked. This guy is fucked. Celsius. Round two. Round two, yeah. You just... <laughs> as this guy is slowly guy. losing the ability to breathe. Uh, it is not good. Peacock. All right. Same plan. We're just going to double our movement over here. Two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. And oh, look who it is. Look who it is. <laughs> All right. Blue, you going to just hold your action again? Hello there. And yeah, he's just going to hold his action. <laughs> Hello there. All right. Um, so this guy is going to make one last desperate attempt to break your gra uh, grapple on him, Celsius. Go and roll me that brawling check. 
Yep, you hold. He's like really trying to like just clawing your arm just and yeah, you're just holding on to him. Uh, I'm assuming the choke is going to be the thing you do. Celsius. I was muted. Um, yeah. No, um, yeah, I'm just going to put him out uh, until we can search him and figure out what's going on with this shit. Cool. So he's not dead. Uh, so you still have a hold of him, but you just and then you just feel him start going limp in your arms uh, as he has failed to breathe now for nine seconds. Um, yeah. That is uh, that is kind of impressive. Peacock, we come to you. All right. I have something very specific I want to do. I want to go to this man. Hmm? And he's now unconscious. He is. And uh, I'm going I'm to look at Celsius and I'm going to be like, you mind if I uh, just take something of his? I don't need any of this junk. Go ahead. All right. I'm a. I see his cyberdeck. I assume. Oh Unless yeah, it's it's, a, it's, it's strapped on. It's strapped on his arm. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Prize. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just gonna take. So you're just gonna, gonna uh, take it. Unplug it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you you in one swift action just yank his interface, plugs off of it, and just yeah, rip it off. Uh, his yes. cyberdeck is now yours. Let me uh, unequip that from him and I will give you his cyberdeck. Your soul is mine. <laughs> uh, right, I would. Yep. So you should have now have that cyberdeck in your possession. Uh, all right. And, let me see. And I just it? Like... Yep. It's got all its programs still installed. Yep. And I'd like to tell uh, Blue and um, Celsius that, uh, hey, by the way, uh, their leader is currently counting sheep in uh, the other room. So uh, just letting you know, I don't know how you want to deal with it. I don't really care personally. Uh, well, the leader's honestly probably fine. They didn't see anything, but this guy saw our faces. Oh, true. Yeah, sucks to be him. I have a pretty <laughs> funny thing we could do with that, uh, with this Biotechnica goon here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, let's go take him, uh, put him on top of the leader who's currently sleeping, and then dome the Biotechnica Netrunner and leave his dead body on top of the leader. Hmm. Cruel. I like that, it. I'm fun. <laughs> Ooh, uh, man. That is Are, hilarious. So, Blue, yeah, Blue, we're, we're at your point in initiative here. What do you want to do? I am going to rotate my weaponry. I'm going to stow my shotgun and draw the rocker. And I got just the thing to do it with. Beautiful. All right. So are you going to just start moving then as the move for your turn? Because your action is to swap? Yeah. Two, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't know where the leader is. So I'll just kind of follow along with the group when they go to move. Gotcha. So you're just going to hold the movement to follow them? Yes, sir. Beautiful. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, sleepy, sleepy Celsius. All right, well, if this guy's still unconscious, I'm going to carry his ass and ask uh, Peacock where the hell we need to go to find this guy who's napping. Yeah, so oh, Peacock, just... I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to duplicate your token again real quick. Because this For is the sure, view sure. you Wait. Copy your token. Paste your token. Where did it paste your... Why did it paste you up there? Yeah, that is... That it's is so strange. random. Okay. So, uh, this is a door that leads mm -hmm. back into that same hallway, you know? Yeah, and I'm gonna just tell him, like, if my trigonometry is correct, and it usually is, uh, I think we could just go through this door, and uh, we could get to the room. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, there's our, there's our friend, okay. Yep. Yeah, because at this point, we're basically dealing without initiative. So, uh... Just a few guys. Nothing weird, nothing strange. Yeah, just, just a few dudes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you're just going to set him down next to the other guy that's still conked out. Yep. Beautiful. And then 
I'm gonna let Blue do the dirty deed if he wants to, but first I want to search the biotechnic guy for any kind of uh, reason why he might be here. Beautiful, I mean, he does have an agent, so you can easily take that off of him. Uh, well, he's that. rummaging. Sorry, go ahead. I was, I was gonna toss that agent to you, you know how to crack that stuff better than I do. Yep, yep. Well, uh, as it, like before I catch that, just as he's rummaging through his pockets, I want to just pack a couple fresh rocks into the rocker so I know that it's loaded. Oh yeah, these are these are especially spicy rocks. Read your radiation detector is going off a little higher on those. Nice. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and crack that agent, I guess. So let's see what he has to tell us. Field expertise, basic. Uh, field expertise, electronic security. There we go. Oh my god, yeah. So you crack that agent, no problem at all. Um, and inside this agent you immediately kind of go to his messages and there is a message from a uh exec by the name of uh let me remind myself what the fuck the guy's name i had here was a uh, symptom so um he got a uh message basically saying that there was some old uh, corporate equipment that they needed repossession of um, and telling him like where he can go to get it. And of course, send him here. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. Um, he just had a command from this Biotechnica suit to come here, do the deed, grab the shit, get the fuck out. And uh, he didn't calculate for you guys all being here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna gonna relay that, you know. Hey, Biotechnica had him here to pick something up, I guess. Just the corp doing mm -hmm. corp gig. Do we know, uh, do we know what? Uh, skim through. Was it anything, like, specific, or was it just some, like, general this and that machinery um, type things he was taking note of? So there were, according to this, <laughs> um, there was some old corporate equipment left here. Uh, Namely, he mentions that there were some cell cultures that uh, should have been in hermetically sealed vials for a project that they were working on. Mm -hmm. And those were the ones that he sent him to come get. Yeah. Mm. Um, Is there any info on where those are? Um, or where they should be, or did they just send him in blind to find them? Uh, they do mention that, uh, for him to look near any operating stages. Because most likely stages. that's where they would have been. <clears throat> you do remember seeing one of those as you were sifting the cameras. All right. Well, let's grab the, uh, distillation set and then we'll go for, uh, a little reward. A little extra bonus. A little bonus. <laughs> I've been doing a little too much chemistry. I can do it with a little biology. Yeah beautiful so um so blue has cracked that um so with that said uh is anyone doing the dirty work of uh taking this guy out of the program uh mm. yeah i wanted to shoot him in the head with the rocker like a hundred times and laugh <laughs> i just wanted um, to pelt him with the rock so this person is not only going to wake up with a dead body on top of him but their head is going to be like caved in and just a giant pile of irradiated rocks uh, random. go ahead and roll the damage on the rocker. Random question. What is y'all's empathy stat? Um, uh, I Two. am a empathy one with 13. Two. Oh. He's, he's getting there. <laughs> so yeah, he's having a good time. This is just fun for him. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, here, I'm gonna... Or no, I, I to preload it. M, I mean, M knows how much empathy I have. <laughs> yeah, not much. Um, so that's actually just, I'm not kidding when I say that first rock is just enough to cave this dude's skull in. Uh, he's at zero HP with uh, a loss of one on his head armor jack. Um, so that's gonna, he's just gonna wake up suddenly. Uh, of course, you know, Death saves are a thing. This guy's gonna try and save. Fail. Beautiful. 
Our Corpo <laughs> Netrunner is flatlined. Good night. Well, that went a little too fast. Yeah. <laughs> One solidly placed skull shot. That's all it took. Damn. So, uh, my empathy. Sounds- fucking LCC in chat. My empathy is Lamau. <laughs> 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 um, so, yeah, that's what we've got there. So, the distillation set is literally right over here. Cool. Um, I'll carry it if I can. Yeah, absolutely. Just two hands, pick it up. Um, so, do you guys want to go try and locate these cell cultures potentially? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Beautiful. So, um, do you want me to move you all to the entrance? Because you'll have to go back the way anyway to get to where that stage was. Uh, yes, yeah. please. Yep. Uh, let me just grab all of you because I can actually move you through walls. Oh, yeah. I don't want any of our dead friends over here. Bear with me just a moment. Wee. All right. So, this is the entrance. So, you know the operating stage is down here. I'm just following Peacock. I'm just going to end the combat because you guys are out of initiative now. Yeah, this so cyber... here is oh, our God. little operating stage right here. Ooh, I guess start searching the room, see if we can find it. Uh, can yeah. still reveal objects, please? I love this, uh, the new cyber deck, by the way. Uh, it's... <laughs> purely offensive yep. <laughs> as always beautiful so peacock um maybe it's because you already kind of saw the room's layout um but mm-hmm. you are immediately drawn to a series of uh bridges that are yeah. only kind of lightly holding their power uh but inside mm-hmm. yeah you see three uh they're not small, but they're they're maybe the size of like a tall soda can like this, right? Mm-hmm. Um, three canisters um, with some kind of serial number in the Biotechnica logo on them. Ooh. Uh, question. Yep. On my uh, carry-all, do I have little pouches that would like s- snugly house these uh, house these capsules? Yeah, well, and they, they they don't look to be particularly fragile. Like, they're not, mm-hmm. uh, it's not like a glass. It looks as though it's, or at least it's not on the outside glass. Um, these look to be some kind of like a, they're like a metal canister of some kind. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'll go ahead and I'll put them in my carry-all. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then I'm going to ask the, the real question is, what do we want to do with them? Or just take him back to Paradox and see what he can do to leverage Biotechnica. Okay. That, or we could sniff around in here a little bit more, see if they have some files on it or something. I mean, they were keeping it here. They probably have some sort of documentation. You Let think? me actually, can I, can I ping a scan for a separate network? Probably not, right? Oh, I mean, you could. Let me, just in case. You can always, you can always ping a second scan, yeah. Never know. Never know. Uh, yeah, there, there's no secondary network in here um, that you can detect. Yeah. Sadly. Sadly. Um, however, because I don't know, Celsius, you did not roll a conceal reveal object check. I did not, but I will. I figured since I was carrying the giant distillery. Yeah, I mean, you can, it's still like, it's your perception to see things that maybe aren't immediately obvious as well in that regard. You could also set it down for a moment to have a look. Okay, so yeah, that was no higher than Peacock. So yeah, you don't see anything additional in the room or find anything additional in the room. I think we should get the hell out of here. (laughs) Yeah, let's just hope it isn't too important. See what it is later. Maybe, so are you guys going to call Sugar Bomb then? Yep, time to hitch our ride out of here. I I was more friendly with her, so I'll hit up the ride. Beautiful, yeah. And uh, so, second you call her, she says, Hey, so uh, how's the uh, how's the work going? Eh, job's done. One left taking a, taking a nap in the back like the lazy fucks they are here, but they gave us everything we needed without much of a fight. Love to hear it. Glad to hear it was an easy job. 
Uh, yeah, ride should be coming where it dropped you off here in just a few minutes. Nice, I'll meet him there. Beautiful. So, uh, with that, I'm going to bring us back to our home screen. All right. Good job, everyone. So, yeah, you guys walk outside, presumably, um, unless there was something else I missed there. Was there anything else that you wanted to do while you were in the hospital? No. Okay. No. Beautiful. Uh, where did Nyla go? Nyla, you still there? I'm here. I'm here. Don't oh, worry. Oh, I'm, gotcha. I, I just, just. Yeah, I just. I'm just moving to a different. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I just noticed your, uh, your, you were no longer pinged as online. I'm like, wait, what happened? Um, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, there you are. There you yeah, are. Yeah, I'm okay. just. I'm just gonna be. Uh... You're just gonna be what? Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna be uh, on my laptop. Oh, gotcha. that's all. No, yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, so with that, you all um, leave the NC Medical Center without further incident. Um, and yeah, sure enough, there's a big old uh, neon hued van, uh, very psychedelic pattern spray painted on the sides of it. I didn't really get a chance to describe what this thing looked like before. Uh, but yeah, this thing is like, the the mystery mobile if it were uh you know rainbow tie-dye um and so with that um or the mystery machine rather in uh in rainbow tie-dye so you guys hop in uh and head back to the party that is still going very strong um and as you uh arrive there uh sugar bomb is pretty much waiting right outside uh next to bazooka joe and uh, she uh, looks at you all coming out and then this distillery rig you've carried out with you. And she um, kind of like, almost like a little kid at Christmas, she like runs up to you and very like gingerly takes the distillery rig off of you and just kind of like looks it over. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, with that, she says, uh, please uh c c come back inside and she like uh almost like half uh jogs into the party past all the uh partying people and goes back to her lab uh where uh just on the bit of singed countertop uh where the old one was she puts it down says and now my gonk skezzed out fucking friends here I will be checking every precursor they bring back for me from now on so that this beautiful, beautiful thing does not have to have happen. What happened to the last one? You think you think that's beautiful? So did Biotechnica. We had a guy there looking for it, take it back to the, comp the corp. Oh. Well, yeah. That... Did uh, you get a name? We have his agent. I, I, I was about to say, I don't think I ever put his agent back and I like put out right now and check for a name. Yeah, um, so the name of the Netrunner wasn't on there, but the name of the guy who sent him there was, which uh, you had oh, some yeah, symptom. the symptom. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she looks it over and scrolls and just Fuck. Okay. Well, um, and like she dismissively like tosses it off to the side, like not so far away that you couldn't grab it if you wanted to blue, but yeah, she just tosses it aside and just like rubs her head. At least I have a distillery rig. That's all I really need. I'll, uh, you know, start cooking up a new batch of something here real, real shortly. Um, and, uh, she says, oh, fuck, I nearly forgot. Um, and she reaches into a drawer um, and counts a couple bundles out. Uh, she hands each of you 2,000 eddies. I'm so glad you didn't forget. <laughs> and um, 
Blue, she looks at you and she says, and you, I actually think I want to inaugurate our newly found partnership. If you would, uh, you know, just send me over one of your recipes. Uh, I think that's the first thing I want to put through this new rig. Well, there's always the easiest thing to do. You just put a, it's basically the, the uh, blue glass with the kick of synth coat real easy to put together and i basically like jot it all down real quick yeah and it ends up being like a whole pa like a page and a half thing though and yeah. he's just casually like oh it's just this 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 yeah. this it's and just it's simple. just this whole ass list of very specific <laughs> instructions on how to do it yeah so celsius and peacock the both of you look at this and like peacock this makes maybe a little more sense to you because this almost looks to you like like a tree of programming um mm -hmm. to you celsius you're like what the fuck is this arcane shit um but um but yeah and uh uh sugar bomb looks at this and she's like looking it up and down and she says i never would have thought to do that why didn't i think to do that it's so simple but fuck and she like looks at you like with this like look of amazement in her eyes this shit is art holy fuck this is it's beautiful and she immediately starts like reaching into cabinets and grabbing precursor. And she says, I know exactly what I'm going to fucking do. And she just starts, uh, yeah, like throwing shit together. And you can tell like she's she's probably going to spend the whole rest of the night just like pouring over this thing. Yep, yeah, he's going to kind of giggle to himself. And as everybody goes to leave the room, leave the room, he's going to do like the sneaky double step and just kind of snatch the phone and toss it and just carry off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just where it landed on the floor. Yeah, totally. Awesome. Um, so yeah, um, guys. Oh, I uh, wanted to say something to Sugar. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, 2000 Eddies, by the way, before Two I forget. Yeah, 2,000 of these uh, for payment. Yep. Beautiful. Um, well, first of all, actually, I want to talk to Blue and... Um, uh, to Blue and Celsius. And I want to ask them, Hey, listen. I, uh, I've been floating around here for a bit. And uh, I'm looking to take uh, the next step in this life of mine. And... Uh, you know, today, today went super well in my opinion. So I think that's a sign that I think I should run with y'all. It's been a great run with piranhas, but I think I just need to do my thing. I was gonna kind of look at Celsius. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind it. We definitely have needed a wirehead, and that one that we've been using is kind of come and go. I'm just going to shrug and say, hey, I mean, you didn't die, so props to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you have that faith in me. <laughs> and uh, I just turned to Sugar Bomb, and I'm like, I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me. Yeah, and she's, she's like, all, she's so distracted, like, mixing shit together. She's just like, oh, yeah, 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 no, I, uh, you know, you know. It's we we love when we uh, get help with the shit that we need help with, and uh, you know you've done nothing but good by us, so we appreciate you, man. Um, Hell yeah! If there's ever any gigs that come up, you know you're if you're running with these guys, I called them because they're good. You're just as good, so I'll be in touch. Hell yeah! Yep. So with that, cool. I guess. Mm -hmm. so you are uh living in the precipice at least for now um nyla so with that in mind um mm -hmm. do you just want to take uh like a cab to get back there then like order a combat yeah. cab yeah, yeah, yeah i'll just okay. uh you know or how, how far is it um, I mean, it's it's most of the way back the way you just came, uh, because it's on the edge of the hot zone. I see. Hmm. Uh, can I? Nah. Sugar Mom already gave me a ride back, so. Um. 
yeah, yeah. I'll just I'll just call a combat cab. Yeah, I mean, like if you hang out till the end of the party, there's a possibility that that uh, you know there are several other piranhas that live where you live. So like, you probably could catch a ride I'll back a after ride. the party if you wanted to do that. I'll hitch a ride. I'm 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 I want to save money. Fair enough. Yep. And then uh, Celsius and Blue, do you guys want to walk back? It's a ways, but like, you could technically do it. Or do you want a combat cab? I mean, if we're together, I don't mind walking back. Um, I'm honestly probably gonna spend the night at the party getting sketched out. Hell yeah. So Celsius, what do you want to do then? I'll walk back. You'll walk I'm pretty back? calm. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Um, let me roll something then. Okay. 22. All right. So on your way back, um, you see what you recognize to be kind of one of the newcomers. Um, you're, when you get to this point, you're maybe a couple blocks from the se uh, semiconductor building. Um, and you see a booster, not that dissimilar to the ones you just were fighting in the medical center. Um, shitty polymer one shot, bad attitude, you know, the type. Uh, and he says, no, you fucking gonk. You're going to give me every fucking Eddie in your pocket. I don't take no for a fucking answer. And he's got a gun pressed up to this guy's chest like he's pinned him to the ground. Um, and like he doesn't notice you. He's just apparently got it out for this local guy that uh, is you. You know, you passed him earlier. He is probably homeless. At the very least, he was laying out on the pavement earlier. Um, so what do you want to do with anything? Um, I'm going to get close enough to him where I'm not going to accidentally light this poor guy on the ground on fire and just literally just empty my shotgun onto him. I'm not in the mood. Fair enough. Uh, roll me a hit check. Easy. Roll me damage. He's too close to my fucking home to be pulling this kind of shit. Yeah, totally. So yeah, you blast him and you just fuck him, him, God, I'm on fire! And he just starts running down the uh, alleyway, just like trying to pat himself out. And the dude who's on the ground, you can see he's a little bit bloody, like he's been beaten a little bit. Um, he says, Ooh. Thank you. So, who are you? Never mind who I am. Let's get you off the ground. Yeah, and you uh, pick him up, and uh, what do you want to do? Um, I'll ask him. I'll say, hey, you, you live around here, either you know, outside one of the buildings or in the semiconductor building? I, uh, I used to live on the uh, west side, but... Um, and you kind of see him trail off, and, like, you know, like, that's definitely probably within the blackened spots that was on Generation Red's map earlier. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything uh, with you? Do you, you know, have like a tent, a sleeping bag, anything nearby? He uh, picks a carryall up off the ground and like slings it over his shoulder. And it's like, it's rough. It's a little beat up. Says, uh, well, yeah, this is about it. Well, if you can find an empty space on, you know, in the semiconductor building, I'll, I'll let, him, uh, let him let you in for the night so you can find somewhere more permanent. And he, like, almost, it almost looks like this act has kind of, like, moved him to, to tears a little bit. And he just kind of, like, wipes his one eye off. He just leads away. Yeah, I'll just walk him over there and I'll let the whoever's at the gate know, hey, he's got tonight free on me. If you need me to pay anything, let me know. Very cool. And the, the guy on guard says, Celsius, no. Like, you, you know... Never done 
bad by us, so no. Oh. Chum needs a fucking place to sleep. Chum needs a fucking place to sleep. Get on in. Cool. And I'll let him go his separate way and I'll head back to my my crate. Beautiful. Alright. So as we kind of start uh winding down here. Um, so Celsius, you find your cargo container and yeah, I assume, you know, do your usual like decompression after a gig, clean your gun, etc. Um, Peacock and Blue, as you guys, you guys kind of continue partying, uh, you know, uh, Peacock, I don't know about you, but Blue, I know you're definitely mm -hmm. partaking of drugs and doing all kinds of shit there. Um, Peacock, I'm not sure if you're joining that or not, but... Uh, well, um, what kind of drugs are here? <laughs> I mean, there's, there's Piranha Smash. There's some, mm -hmm. uh, some reserve, uh, drugs that, uh, Sugar Bomb has cooked up, uh, you know, less addictive versions of, uh, most of the classics, Black Lace, Blue Glass, Synth Coke, um, you know, mm -hmm. all the fun shit. Gotcha. And I'm, it will surely get me addicted. It's, assuredly. It, it's not it's not like a totally sure thing, but they're far less addictive than their normal counterparts. That's like the one mm. thing that Sugar Bomb is really Sugar Bomb and the other cooks within the piranhas are really good at is making shit so that the odds of you getting addicted are very low. I see. Ah, I'll try it. Okay. What do you what are you trying? <laughs> Uh, synth coke. Synth coke, yeah. So you hit that, uh, you hit a line of synth coke, and you just feel that, like, sensation of, like, the world slowing down a little bit around you. It's like everything starts kind of passing in slow-mo. Um, and you just kind of feel your heart pounding a little faster. Uh, it's almost the same sense you get when you dive in that run. And, like, you are processing real life now like you do data on a network. It's all moving Ooh. fast. And uh, it's pretty pleasant, honestly, for you. Because for you, like, the real world sometimes feels a little too slow. You know? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yep. Mm. Delicious. Yep. And uh, <laughs> Blue, what, what are you getting involved in exactly? Uh, so what does the menu look like? I mean, they got Piranha Smash by the boatload. Um... They've got uh, synth coke. They got, I mean, they got pretty much any street drug that you could think of. Uh, and it's DV9 resist drug torture to resist addiction to it. All right, cool. Then uh, that's my answer. Let me know how many times you need me to roll the <laughs> drug in, except for the black lace. I, I won't touch things. No with lace. Lace okay. with black lace for fun. Fair, those, fair, are, fair. those are work drugs for when you're about to die. Yeah, fair, fair. Um, yeah, I mean, you'll need what? I think it's four times, five times, because we got what? Uh, let me take a look here at the trauma team chapter real quick. I can tell you exactly how many times. So we've got black, black lace. We're not doing so. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four times. It'll be four times. We need you to roll resist drug torture. Okay. And I'm beating a DV9 each time, right? DV, DV9 for each of these, yep. But we'll, we'll start at the top here. So yeah, oh, that's easy. Yep, no problem there. No problem there. Oh. No, that's fine. <laughs> nice, because the DV9, this is, this is why I'm doing business with this lady. Yep. Oh. Yep, oh, still got <laughs> that's exactly why I'm doing business with this lady. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. No, you're chilling. You are chilling. And, uh, feeling last very question. Good. Can I do and feel free to charge a few eddies for it because it, I'm sure it would have to be a large amount. Can I call trauma team for myself at the end of the night? Uh, yeah, I mean, you you could. I mean, you have tra do you have trauma yeah. team silver? Yeah, I have Trauma Team Silver. I want to yeah. stumble my fucked up, skezzed out ass into a back alley somewhere, plop down next to a dumpster and ring Trauma Team to come pick me up. Yeah, and uh, you just hear uh, NC Trauma Team Unit 402, uh, ETA, two minutes. And it's almost as soon as you hang your agent up, 
that you already hear the whine of AV jets coming close overhead. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, you're, you're maybe only barely aware of it by the time you get here, but um, you see four jacked uh, med techs, basically, along with a solo, come in, surround the ends of the alleyway. Uh, there's even, like, one um, dude, like a booster, that looks like he wanted to take advantage. Just, back the fuck up or we'll shoot you! And it's, yeah, this guy just, okay, fuck! And he just stumbles off down the alleyway. Uh, and yeah, they, they give you a lift to crisis medical. Uh, and uh, it's almost as soon as you're there, they jab you with rapid detox and you immediately just like feel that high just kill off. Oh, well, it was the end of the night. Time to get some sleep. Yeah. Uh, they also jab you with a, a speed heal um, and they just like write up the tab basically. So you'll own 100 of these in the morning. Easy. Yeah. See, I was thinking about just passing out by a dumpster, but I knew the area we were in and I was not going to get away with that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, with that, um, then uh, at the end of the night, um, Nyla, if you could roll me resist drugs torture for Peacock. Yep. Uh, all right. Can't wait to tell us. Come on, baby. No, you're easy. Okay. Easy, easy. Yeah. So you you will uh, you pass out. You're just still feeling that like slow warp uh, of time around you, um, and like you vaguely kind of remember uh, getting into one of the piranhas that lives up in the precipice, getting in their car, um, mm -hmm. and then the next morning you wake up and you're in your cargo container. Like oh. after a night of just like partying, you yeah you wake up. Uh, your head is maybe a little sore, uh, and you're not sure if that's from the partying or the literal brain damage you took in the net run, but, like, not at all uncommon, uh, for you, right? Um, yeah, man. <laughs> so, uh, with that, you, um, so yeah, so you wake up the next morning and, uh, yeah, you just got that very light kind of throbbing in your head. Um, Celsius, as you kind of prepare for sleep, um, is there anything in particular you want to do? I mean, not really. Uh, I'm sort of just tired of being around people. There's a lot more people around the, the building having to deal with all the scavs and sure. ran net runner. I'm just sort of like, yeah, whatever. I don't even really want to be at that party. There's too many goddamn people. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, so yeah, as you uh kind of drift off to sleep um your dreams are not great could you roll me a um could you roll me a concentration check you said concentration and the first thing that i looked at was contortionist I'm like that is not concentration that is not those are a little different <laughs> Okay. It is that time of the night. So your um, your dreams are kind of a mixed bag. Um, you start off like imagining the combat zone before all of this kind of started happening, right? Before the inferno, before uh, you know the NCPD started doing its crackdown, um, and you're yeah just thinking of like kind of simpler times and like those like half remembered times of like you know like was it the nicest neighborhood no but like there was food to eat the people you helped were genuinely grateful most of the time the ones that weren't skezzed out on something um and all of that like is replaced as like you're you become aware of like the smell of smoke uh, and then off on the western horizon, you just see flames rising uh, and that metal face of the Brimstone FBC kind of glaring back at you, almost threatening you, like daring you to try anything to stop it. And when you wake, it's in a almost co like a cold sweat. Like you maybe don't start awake, but you definitely feel the like ebbing 
like stress and adrenaline of the nightmare kind of receding. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much where we end tonight's session, guys. So very good job. Um, everyone uh, for the, I mean, the gig alone, God damn, guys, like <laughs> you, you actually broke my encounter uh, a little bit. <laughs> So uh, I'm giving you all 80 IP because I think that that's deserved for breaking my encounter. So, oh, I have to hang around for the after show. Now I got to know how we broke the encounter. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys did a pretty good job. Um, so 80 IP group. Uh, and then for various reasons, I'm giving each of you uh, 40 IP as bonus. Uh, because all of you kind of were just integral to this work and you operated as like a single cohesive unit pretty much the entire time. And uh, on the other side of it, like every one of you stayed very alive. Like, I think the only real damage anyone took was like, <laughs> like Blue took just a handful of like points of damage. And then mm -hmm. Peacock, you just took like two very unlucky shots to the head while you weren't protected by your armor program and like yeah it just it was just some very painful mosquito bites essentially <laughs> yeah so it's just like there was almost nothing like it was literally no flaws in that that's like within the mm -hmm. margin of error when you go on a run like that so yeah right honestly yeah. 120 total for everybody that was incredible and remind me again what the cost for a, a new level in a skill would be uh so for a regular skill it's 20 times the level you're going to so if it's level seven, for example, it would be 140 IP. Okay. Oh, I know it's end of session, but I would have had enough at the start of session. Could I sink a point of evasion now so that next session I can hit my... Or no, next session I wouldn't be able to hit my 10. I'm so close, though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can, you can spend the IP if you want to level something up, absolutely. And then what was the uh, cost for roll up again? Uh, 60 times the rank you're buying. Sometimes combined spawn. Okay. So for rank 6, it's 360. Damn, okay, next session. Yep, <laughs> next session, next session. Dude, actually say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? It's funny how quick the catch is up, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Yep. So beautiful. Dang. I mean, or I could just be a murder hobo and upgrade shoulder arms to nine, you know? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's... Ain't that the consideration? But let's see. That's the balance, though. If you do too much damage too early, you scare them. They call you a cyber psycho and all start shooting at you. I've I learned know. this. Evasion matters. That doesn't yeah. matter to me. But, um... But, yeah. Uh, any last minute thoughts or anything else? Uh, before we call it for the week. Yeah, I'll say it on stream and on recording here. Uh, thanks, Nala, for stepping in and joining us. It was uh, it was fun playing with you. Dude, thank you guys for having me. I had so much fun. Yeah. Honestly, it'll be cool to have because you're 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 now you're you're part of it, part of it. So he'll be back next week and every week thereafter yeah, and, until he gets sick of us. And Monday nights are not busy for me, so no, I'm not stuck in here with y'all. Y'all are stuck in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> We have a wirehead, gentlemen. This is beautiful. All right. Well then, um, uh, any anything from either of you uh, or from uh, from you, Ghost? Anything more? No, I'm ready to take a little break and go into post game. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Well, uh, YouTube. This is where we're gonna call it. Twitch. Uh, we will be back. Uh, myself and anyone who does want to stick around. Uh, it sounds like Ghost is probably one of those people this week. Uh, to have our weekly post game chat with you all. Uh, but I hope all of you uh, over on the YouTube side of things have a wonderful morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay healthy, stay safe. And until uh, next time, probably Wednesday, uh, when we do Wireheads, peace.